We have Beth, Riley, Charlie, and Chloe. Good luck. Good, Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Riley, can I just get in here? What? No, stop. Oh. Do you want to follow the dance? Yeah. Riley is my baby sister. So I am pretty protective of Riley. You know, I got into dance because of her. She was my inspiration. You know, sometimes she can be a little overprotective, but at the end of the day, I love her to death. And you know, she always has my back. Beautiful. No, no, no. no. She's my sister. I just love her. Beth, you're up first. We, we are gonna show the world. When Beth messes up in the audition, I'm thinking she's not a trick material. That's gonna cost her, yeah. This is a very competitive group. We go to regionals and we go up against amazing studios who have not one dancer messing up. So, like, you can't have that. auditioning for a troop because at any point my spot could be taken by somebody else Come on, everybody, let's go. so we're gonna go back to group four and that's james eldon giselle and michelle james you're up Woo! Yeah! Making it in the A troop is a big deal just because I'm fighting for my spot. If I got kicked down to B, I'd be pretty upset with myself. But it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I dance just because I love it. I've always loved to move. It gives me a little bit of an advantage uh, with the ladies. blushing. <laughs> He's always trying to show off to the girls to try and get their attention, and I'm not falling for it. Riley would never like a guy like that. Ever. Right? Come on. No. Come on! Jack! Bro, you did it? Oh my god. Oh, you did it? Being an A troop is an honor because you have to work for it and you have to work to stay in it. that I made it into the A troop. I'm not really that surprised, but I feel great. Getting into A troop is the best. I mean, I get another year to be with my sister, to be with my friends. Hey. I miss you, like, a lot. I know. Um, don't worry about it so much, though. Beth and I, uh, we have some history. We dated while we were both in B Troop, and then I got A Troop last year. Then I decided to break it off just because I was so busy with A Troop. But now that I didn't make it, like, I'm never gonna see you anymore. You'll be okay. Uh, I think she still has a little thing for me, but I've moved on. Okay, I gotta go in. Okay. I'll miss you. Yeah, I'll see you. You'll be okay. I'm doing math homework simply because I'm doing pretty bad in math. That's on the down low. I mean, I don't want to be doing math homework. I'd rather be dancing, but I got to do it. Elden, man. OK? What? Man, what's with the little number on top of the, of the other number? What, is... what do you mean? Exponent? Exponent? Really? It's an exponent. Exponent. Josh, oh. you're over here. What is it, though? Why I tell it? him things over and over again. He still has no idea. And then if it's 2 to the power of 3, you do 2 times 2 times 2. Math, it's just one of those things. I can't get it. It makes me angry. But what, what if it's a letter to the power of 2? What? Why is there a letter? I'm new to A Troop, and I want James to like me. And my way of doing that, I know it might sound crazy, but I'm gonna challenge him to a dance battle. Man, what are you doing? <laughs> this. As Wes dances at me, um, I'm a little freaked out, but kind of intrigued. I used to do it in my old dance crew. We used to do it to initiate new dancers. Yeah, I thought so. It's gonna work. It's definitely gonna work. You people watch and learn. Oh, 
Nice. I think it's a good team. I would have liked to be in my sister's team just because, you know, I'm used to her leading, but I'm always up for something new. I truly enjoyed the team that I'm with. What do you guys want to do before we rehearse? You're a Miss National soloist, so you should know what to do, shouldn't you? Miss National what? <laughs> so you won Nationals? Yeah. <laughs> Dope. That's right. sick. Nice. Thanks. I'm impressed. I think that's going to be great for the team. It just makes us that much better. It must be hard for Michelle to be the new girl. I'm going to make her feel welcome. Ape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, dude, dude, you seen that's cool? Well, yeah. why don't you try Starfish? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite animal is the elephant. Come on, Price. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's probably halfway done her routine, so we should probably get rehearsing soon. I think the dance is great. It's new, it's different, and it incorporates all of our ideas. Michelle's dance is so chill. <laughs> Doing? Are we all good? It feels good. It feels good. I think we're good. Cool, let's go. I want Emily to win, so this is one of the things I'm doing to help her. Then let's go home. It may not be a good idea to go this early. We probably could use a little bit more practice. Hey. Hey. How's Michelle's routine? <laughs> it's good. Good? Uh, don't worry. I'm sure yours is much better. You really think so? I know so. I can tell Emily is a little threatened about Michelle possibly taking her spot as dance captain. I believe it, 110%. Well, it would be nice if you could, like, keep me informed, you know? Yeah, sure. I'm a little disappointed in my sister. I feel like she's way too threatened by Michelle, and it might start to hurt the troop. Miss Deborah, how you doing? How's the drive-in? I got uh, a bit of a lead foot. <laughs> listen, the drive-in was fine. The construction is still there, but, you know, I got a shortcut, so... So crazy here today. Well, I wish I was here with a better reason, Chris. I'm kind of nervous about my mom wanting to meet with Chris. Unfortunately, I got to talk about what's going on with James at school. He told me he was doing really good, right, yeah, buddy? Yeah, I got a 62% in geography. 62 in geography, Mom. 62 is not great. I know most of the states in South America. Tell her one, tell her one. The capital of Uruguay is Montevideo. It's pronounced Montevideo. Monte, Montevideo, Montevideo. <laughs> Montevideo, Uruguay. You've been too focused on dance and not focused enough on your studies. I'm kind of struggling in math. It's kind of a problem. It's not a big problem. It's kind of a problem. And I think I've got to pull him out of the studio for a while oh, just on. until his grades over here for a get second, Miss Deborah. Oh. James is a huge part of the team. He's a huge part of the company. And if we pull him right now, a lot of the kids are going to feel it. Miss Deborah, you need to understand that if you pull James from the studio, he can't come back for the rest of the season, and the whole team's counting on him. After today, I'll be helping James out with his homework every day after dance rehearsal. And he's good at math, too. James? Okay. And I'll assure you that he will improve with my help. Does that sound like an idea? OK. I need you to guarantee me that you're going to be able to listen to Chris, that Gu you're going to be able to buckle down. Guaranteed, I promise. I love you, Mom. You are just like your father. Well, my mom lets me stay at the studio. It makes me feel all pumped up, so much better. But it also really helps me to work on my math that much more. How's Michelle's dance? It'll never be as good as yours. So is it messy? Like, I barely rehearse. Well, as long as it doesn't work out for her, don't worry. I know exactly what to do. I have no idea what Stephanie is going to do, but I know what she's capable of, so I wish all the luck to Michelle. I spent a whole year with Weston Beecher, and there's no explaining it, he's from another planet. <laughs> he did this all the time in Beecher to everyone, no matter who you were. So it's just typical West behavior. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my wrestle's pretty funny.
Emily's routine, I really don't like. It's too bland. Pretty angry. Stephanie's tanking it. She bumps James and I. As soon as we're finished the dance, I know she threw it on purpose. Michelle, what happened? I asked everyone if they were prepared. And you all said yes, especially you. It was. Michelle is new here, and you can't judge her just because you don't like her. I think she's a really nice person. She doesn't deserve this. Then what happened? I don't know. I just, I'm a little under-rehearsed. Stephanie throwing the dance is not cool. Emily should have won fairly, not by cheating. Michelle's chances of being dance captain are slim to none. Guys, what was that? That was so not cool, what you did to Michelle. Ego rule number one. You always have another e-girl's back. Yeah, it's a rule. Are you even an e-girl anymore? Of course I am. I, I'm sorry, I, I just... It's fine, oh, it's fine. Everyone makes mistakes. Bring it in. Business sister. Yeah. <clears throat> Emily always has to get her way. You know, in the end, I hate fighting with my sister, so I just gave in. Hey, you're a girl. Can I sleep over tonight? Of course. Yes. You always sleep over. What? <laughs> I'm kind of angry about Emily being dance captain again, just because if it weren't for Stephanie, Michelle definitely would have been dance captain. The whole team is falling apart right now, but I have an idea to bring the team back together and to help my friends with James. I call it a two for one. Man, what are you doing, man? Come here. What is Wes doing? We need to clean this up. We have a time limit, and he's dancing in my face right now. Yo, clean! All right, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna teach you a lesson right now. All right. Okay. Woo! All right. Yeah! <laughs> when James joins in, I'm really happy. You know, we're finally friends. It just looks like a fun time. The whole thing is so crazy. The only thing I can think of doing is joining in. I mean, we're all here to dance, so why not dance? Now, I just wanted to show them some moves. We're kind of like working on the teamwork thing again. It was the perfect way to end our day and just dance together as a real team. That's the cool thing about dance. Dance broke us apart, then dance brought us together. That's dance. If you were placed in the front row, it basically means that you're one of the strongest dancers. And if you're in the back, it's kind of like a dance. Nice. Nice. Oh. I am dancing terribly. I'm forgetting everything. I've never danced this bad before in my life. Riley usually gets nervous. She's very shy, but she's an amazing dancer. And I know she'll be okay. Good job. Woo, go Riley. Back row, here I come. Michelle is unreal. She's so good. So I think she's definitely gonna be in the front row, if not front and center. Riley, you're in the front. Me in the front row, something's going on because there's no way that that dance that I just did is front row material. I put Riley in the front because She's my sister, I'm gonna give her a chance, and honestly, she deserves it. I know she's a good dancer, and I know she'll work hard. Michelle, you can stay where you are. Back row. The fact that Michelle is in the back row really surprises me. I don't know what my sister's up to. I guess she's maybe a little jealous of Michelle. All I know is that me and Michelle should definitely be switched. Being in the front row is throwing me off. I've never been in the front row before. I don't see anyone in front of me to like follow along with, so I'm trying to follow my sister. I 
think Riley's really overwhelmed with being in the front row. It is her first time, and I know that feeling, and I just want my sister to be okay. What's yeah, going on? Just... What's going on? I... You're nervous to be in the front row. What? Oh, I get it, I get it. When it was my turn up there, I was so nervous, Ry. Like, don't worry, okay? Oh. You'll get there. Well, I, I just... You want a break? Okay, no, 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 we can give you a break. Uh, okay, but... Don't... Riley, you're my sister. <laughs> oh. All right, let's take a break, everyone. Emily calling a break for me just shows that she's delusional. She doesn't see that I'm clearly not getting the choreography because I shouldn't be in the front row. Michelle should. Yes, let's go get some juice. I think the break will allow Riley to calm down, collect herself, and then she'll be perfect. Yo, Riley, Riley, can you tell me what tangent is again? Uh, sign of a cosine. Sign of a cosine? Yeah. Hey, I got you something. Okay. It's from the top of a mountain. The, the top of a mountain? Like the top of a mountain. Like Rocky Mountains. Oh, pff. water bottle? Yeah. Uh. It's natural spring mountain water. Mm, got yeah. it. <laughs> He's probably the only person at the studio who's gonna tell me his honest opinion and the brutal truth, which is what I need right now. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Do you think I should be in the front row? Okay, honestly? Honestly. I kinda like the fact that Riley asked for my opinion. I mean, why come to me? Seriously, uh, I think Michelle should be in the front row. I mean, no offense. No, I... Thank you for being honest. I just needed to hear it. Okay. It kind of hurts a little bit. I thought, you know, maybe he thought I should be in the front row, but it's the truth, and that's what I wanted to hear, and it's what I needed to hear. Kate? Hey, Riley, what's up? Hi. Um, I just wanted to get your thoughts on something. Sure. Emily got Kate's approval on the line order, so I just wanted to figure out why she put me in the front row. I didn't. I didn't approve the lineup. I don't know why Riley thought I approved the lineup. Emily never spoke to me about any of this. I thought she came in and talked to you about it. She made that decision on her own. At the last time, so I know what you mean. Um, can we talk? Well, it's e-girls, like sit and talk. <laughs> As sisters though, like just alone. Oh, sister thing. Okay, I'll be back. Mm. Um, I talked to Kate. She told me she had no input in the line order. Yep. You didn't even confront her about it? Well, no, I thought it was a good order. I, I just think me and Michelle should be switched. Well, I disagree. I think she needs to earn her place, just like everybody else did, okay? Okay. She deserves to be in the front Riley, row. Riley, I just want what's best for the team. Riley, I'm sticking up for you. Maybe have a little faith in me, okay? I think I know what I have to do. I just don't know if I can pull it off. Yo. Hey. How's it going? Not so good. I mean, you were right, I don't deserve to be in the front row. But the funny thing is, Emily made the lines up by herself. Kate had nothing to do with it. I'm not surprised, because I know that Kate would have never approved that dance lineup. Oh no, I kind of have an idea. Do it. It's kind of dangerous what I'm thinking about doing, so I don't know how it's gonna work out. I have no idea what Riley has in mind. But I think she should do it. I think she should follow her heart. Wait. In this moment, I'm standing up to my sister and doing what's right. Clearly, she's trying to embarrass me in front of the whole troop. What are you doing? What's right? Kate had nothing to do with these line placements. Emily did this all on her own. And I clearly do not deserve to be in the front row. Michelle does. Do you all agree with me? Yeah. 
When Riley stands up to her sister, it's really surprising because no one's ever stood up to Emily like that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, sis, you're outvoted. Well, I guess that's the last time I put any faith in you, sis. OK, that's fine. I know in a few days she'll turn her focus to something else, and she'll see my side of things eventually. Can we go this weekend? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous because I can see the e-girl look in their eyes. And with that look, nothing ever ends well. What's going on? Oh, okay. Look, it seems like your interests lie outside of e-girls lately. Well, I, no, it's not up for discussion. Who wants Riley out of e-girls? Looks like it's unanimous. Please don't do this. It's done. She's my own sister my family, and she just kicked me out. I thought we were closer than that. I did what was right, and I got punished for it. Me and my sister are definitely not going to be the same. Right now, we're working on the beginning stages of our regionals routine. We're just starting early, so everything is set up, and we're 110% ready to go when regionals rolls around. That was really, really, really good for B Troop. We have dance camp in Studio A all day tomorrow, so you guys get a day off. Yes! yes. 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 <laughs> Having a day off is awesome. I mean, I, it's great to kind of get a day off to relax and hang out with my sister. What are you guys planning on doing, a new day off? Yeah, we should all chill. I've yeah. never been to the beach. Yo, let's go to the beach. Yeah. Let's go to the beach. You know what? I'm excited to have a day uh, away from the e-girls. Where do you want me? The beach. When Emily rejects me from dance camp, it really hits home. You should come to the beach, Riley. I'm not an e-girl anymore, and I never will be again. I'm actually really excited for our day off. Um, I'm really excited to go to the beach, maybe get to know Michelle a little more. I feel like spending a day at the beach will be good for us. Uh, the beach! <laughs> Matt, I can't wait to start fishing. Man, you can't actually fish with that. Yeah, of course you can. What do you care? What do you call a pole with a rod and a hook? Wes is so weird. A uh, three-year-old's toy. Is he kidding or is he being serious? Uh, you know what, guys? Maybe, maybe the fish are sleeping. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I hope he's just kidding. That is such a cute necklace. I love it. Oh, thanks. Emily let me borrow it. She let you borrow it? Yeah. Before my grandmother passed away, she gave Emily her necklace and me her watch. Sometimes I'll borrow Emily's necklace, she'll borrow my watch, um, but they're really the only things we have to remember my grandmother by. So, Riley. How's all that drama going with the e-girls? You know, getting kicked out and everything. I know they're dramatic at times, but they're not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> they're brutal, you know they are. They're bad, they're, they're bad. bad. They're so okay, bad. Maybe, maybe, they're, maybe they're bad. <laughs> Hi. I know you. Guys, things. why don't we play dance frisbee? What's dance that? Dance frisbee. So you toss a frisbee, you do a dance move. You catch a frisbee, you do a dance move. OK. All right. Let's do it. It's twice now that I've been hit in the face with the frisbee. I'm probably a little bit better at the dancing part than the catching part. I should probably just stick to what I do best. Where's my necklace? What? What? My necklace. We were having the best time at the beach. 
and then I have to go ahead and lose my necklace. That's Emily's necklace. That's the only thing we have to remember our grandmother by, and I don't think she'll really be happy about it. Where's the last place you saw it? I had it on when we were playing. Okay, so it can't be far. Let's look. I am so afraid that I've lost this necklace for good. I mean, if we don't find it, I have no idea what Emily's gonna do to me. She already kicked me out of the e-girls. I think I found it. Really? really? Nope. Never mind. Don't worry, we'll find it. Hope so. You two, look over there. You two, around there. And me and you will ask people. Michelle's plan seems like it can work. I mean, if we all split up, we'll probably cover more ground. Oh, excuse me, sorry, have you seen a necklace? Like, four leaf silver? No. Nothing? Have you guys seen a necklace? It's not in there. Oh, yeah, thanks, Daniel. I don't care if I have to stay here all night. I'm going to find this necklace. Oh, bushes! They are not in Any luck anywhere else? No, it's hopeless. Emily's gonna kill me. That's her grandmother's necklace. Emily will rip her head off if we don't find this necklace. What are we gonna do? Yo, I have an idea. Yo, come on, follow me. I have a plan to find the necklace, but I'm not gonna do it for Emily, it's for Riley. Hey, uh. I think we could borrow your metal detector? You just lost your necklace. It's your grandmother's necklace? Yeah. Hey, I'm red hot. Look what I just found. What, what is, is that? that? It's cold, baby. So if you want to borrow this metal detector, I'm afraid you're going to have to come up with $100. $100? 100. $100? 100. $100? I think it's absolutely ridiculous when he asks for $100. You know, we just asked you for a metal detector, but no, you got to charge us 100 bucks. Selfish. There is no way. We're coming up with a hundred dollars. There's no way. So you got fifteen dollars and five cents, thanks to James. No, you're welcome. So we gotta come up with eighty-four dollars and ninety-five cents. How are we gonna do that? James had this great idea to borrow the metal detector. Unfortunately, the guy won't lend it to us unless we give him a hundred dollars. And right now, a hundred dollars might as well be a billion. I have an idea. What? What is it? We're gonna do what we do best. When Michelle says do what we do best. I'm kind of confused. What, are we going to start drama to get the metal detector? Follow me. She means do what we do best. I'm not one to give advice. But there's no need to be Sing it till you have no voice. Sing because you have no choice. Sing it till you Your guy. Hey. Hey, what? 100 bucks in a pink hat. It's all yours. Huh? I said I would. How are you? Right now, we're just kind of searching the beach with the metal detector to find my necklace. Anything yet? Oh, I found something. I found something. Here, here, here. <sighs> no, it's just a bottle cap. Ah. I, got, I got something. Right here, right here. What is that? Glasses? Oh, I got something right here, right here, right here. Ah, uh, it's just a nickel. Yeah. So far, we found glasses, a nickel, a bottle cap, and I swear I put it to some kid's head and I swear it was beeping. He had a metal head. But we still haven't found the necklace. Oh, right here, right here. Right there, right there, right there. Is that it? 
That's it. You found it. Yes. Well, you're welcome to metal detector, man. Hard work pays off, guys. I don't know what I'd do if Michelle had not come up with the idea to dance for money. I mean, we actually got the $100 in time. And we found the necklace, and I'm just super thankful. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys had such a fun time at the beach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Hey, Emily, that's a nice necklace. When James mentions the necklace, I'm getting a little anxious again because she doesn't know that I lost it and I would like to keep it that way. Thanks, my grandma gave it to me. <laughs> I'm working on my math right now because my grades are dropping, and if I don't pull them up, my mom's gonna pull me out of the studio. James. Yeah? Can we talk? Yeah. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. What's up? I need you to do something for me. Wait, you want something from me? <sighs> yes, yes. Oh, you want a favor. I don't know about that. Kind of amuses me that Riley would come to me for a favor. I know he's gonna hold this against me, but it has to be done. I'm just a little worried about Michelle. Why? I don't really want her to go on the trip with Emily by herself. I mean, her and the e-girls are not really on good terms right now, and I just don't want any trouble. Okay, so where do I come into this? I just want you to go on the trip and just make sure nothing happens. I asked James to keep an eye on Michelle at Elite because I feel like he's the only one I can really trust. That's a big favor. Really? James, please, come on. Well, I'm gonna have to convince Emily to let me go. I already told her I wasn't gonna go. That's gonna cost you. Okay. Okay. I owe you. Why do you even wanna go? I wanna help you guys out. So now I have to convince Emily to let me tag along on her elite spy mission after I already rejected her once. I know a shortcut there. I GPS it automatically finds the fastest way. I do. I do. I used to date a girl there. So you I, dated a girl from Elite. I did. Typical James. Is there anywhere in town where he hasn't dated someone? Uh, so I know a back entrance. It's kind of sneaky too. You know, all right. All right. All right. Okay. You, you can come. Perfect. Okay, I'll get changed and I'll see you guys up front. Get you there. Well, you owe me. Thank you. I feel a lot better knowing that James is going to elite. It'll be nice for someone to look over Michelle, because we all know Emily won't be. I told you I knew a back way. Who cares? You want a cookie or something? I'd love a cookie. What Why? if we get caught shooting a video? They I'll do go. it in all other sports. You'll go? Yeah. I have my phone. Perfect. No, nah, no, nah, you know what? I'll do it. It's fine. I can do it. I promised Riley nothing would happen to anyone, especially Michelle. Don't no, worry about it. No, it's fine. I volunteered. It's fine. I'll, I'll do it. No. <laughs> Go. Man. When Michelle goes into Elite to videotape their dance, I get a very bad feeling. I knew I shouldn't have let her go. And I don't even want to think about what Riley is going to do to me if something happens to Michelle. She got caught. We need to go. What? what? Yeah, she got caught. Don't ask questions. We'll talk about it in the car. Get Shut in the car. Just get in the car. Just you get can't the just car. leave. Get in the car. We... Get in the car. <sighs> Hurry up. I didn't want to leave Michelle there. I basically got forced to go. It's just bad, bad, bad. Not a good idea for them. Wait, look. Here they are. Exactly. Uh, where's Michelle? We left her behind. Why? Because she got caught. You know what? I feel like you keep pushing Michelle away. It's not right to call out the dance captain, but I honestly feel like Emily needs to be put in her place. You're threatened by her somehow. She doesn't threaten me. Okay, yeah. She is our one chance at winning at regionals. Oh, so none of these people can help us win at regionals? <laughs> You're such a team player, baby. That's not what I'm saying. Good for you. I was just trying to say that Michelle is on this team for a reason. She's helping us get to nationals, and it's so crucial that she stays with us. Do you guys know where Michelle is? No, I haven't seen her. Really? Anyone? We're so in trouble, you have no idea. She's late, though. Hmm. Interesting.
Anyway, as I was saying, duets. We need you all to pair off, okay? Choose your own duet partner. Create a duet, work together, listen to each other. Duets are so important because it teaches you to lean on your duet partner. Cool questions? No? No. Get started. Let's go. Come on. Riley, I got some sweet ideas for a duet. Okay, but I don't remember agreeing to be your partner. Yeah, but I decided for the both of us. When James asked me to be his partner, well, he didn't really ask. He kind of just implied that I would be his partner. I know, I was kind of like, okay. I, I just kind of agreed to it. Riley seems to be the only person that I can't put the moves on quite as smooth as the other girls. Riley's got some kind of kryptonite or something, and I dig it. Come on, let's start. Wasting time, babe. Let's go. Do not call me babe. Are you okay? What happened? I got caught. But don't worry, I handled it. Well, what did you tell him? I told him that I was there to audition for their studio. After what happened, I really hope Michelle isn't considering going to Elite. I told you guys it was a bad idea to spy on them. Yeah. Yeah. My bad, Michelle. I feel bad for Michelle. Um, I told Riley I'd keep an eye on her, but I left, like everyone else. Em. Hey. What was that all about? You will never believe what Kate just told me. Apparently, Michelle is this close to leaving for a lead. Amazing. I know. All she needs is a little push, and she's out of here. Even though Emily's my sister, she's pushing our chances of regionals out the door with Michelle, and that's not the best thing for the team at all. Something has to be done. Slide. Eldon and I are supposed to be teaching a baby ballet class right now, but you know, I gotta study. Slide back. Yo, what's up? Slide. Just trying yeah. to do this math stuff. What is this Pythagorean theorem exactly? It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You good? Yeah. So, um, I overheard Emily talking to Stephanie in Kate's office, and okay. she's planning on pushing Michelle out of the studio. <laughs> what? How? I, How did you? She's probably um, just gonna make her life miserable so that she leaves. Okay, so wait, why are you coming to me about it then? Well, I've thought about it, and I I think we have to dethrone my sister as dance captain. Wait, we have to replace Emily okay. as dance captain? You know what I meant, okay? Okay. Just us as like a team. I'm so surprised that Riley actually wants to dethrone her sister as dance captain. That's got to take a lot of courage. It's hard because she's my sister and I love her. But at the same time, I know that it's the right thing to do. It's what's best for the team. We have to decide who would be better then. I, yeah, I guess. Well, let's but... face it. I mean, I can do it. I'd kill it. No. Definitely not. Uh, try. Mm. What about you? You could do it. No. I'm not going to take that. my sister's spot. I can't do that. What about Elton? He's a good dancer and everything, but... He's, kinda... He's too awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michelle. We landed on Michelle. Um... Probably because she's the best candidate. She's been to nationals before. She won top dancer at nationals. She was dance captain at our last studio. She has perfect qualifications. All right. All right, I should get back to my math. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Yo, man. Yo, what up? Oh, I need to talk. I need lady advice. What do you need, man? Man, I'm trying to get Emily. It's not working. We need her attention. I mean, like, yeah. what gets Emily's attention, though? I mean, like, when we're in ballet class and I'm just brutal at it, she's always on me. Oh, yeah. That's it right there, man. You're dancing too good. If you start dancing badly, you know she'll be on you. Yeah, but then she's just gonna be mad at me because I'm doing horribly. No, man, trust me. That will just get her attention and she'll be on you and then I'll take care of it from there, bro. I got your back. Okay. Hey. Hey. Uh, can I talk to you in Studio B later? Yeah. But don't tell anyone about it. Okay. Okay, wait, how do I know the difference between like a negative okay, sign and a Okay, this is not a time for math problems, okay? Michelle's about to come through any minute. I am kind of nervous, because this whole plan could end really badly, but I'm not even close to as nervous as Riley. I mean, she's freaking out, man. I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. So I just really hope she sees our side of things and agrees. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Okay. So, I, I overheard my sister and Stephanie talking. Okay. And um, she's planning on pushing you out of the studio. What? What's That's... her problem, honestly? It's I've done nothing to her. It's because she's threatened by you. Still, that gives her no right to kick me out of the studio. I know, I completely agree with you, which is why we were talking earlier and we've decided to replace her as dance captain. 
How are you gonna replace her? She's an e-girl. Well, uh, the best way to do that is replace her with you. Can you at least think about it? Emily already hates me. If I try to take over as dance captain, what is she gonna do to me? We're here, we'll help you. I'm not ready to become dance captain, you have to understand. I have no idea what we're gonna do now. Yeah, you gotta yeah. see it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yo, guys. Yo. Yo, yo. I don't know what to do. I have two duet partners. Two? Yeah. Who? Michelle and Emily. Man, since when? How did that happen? How in the world did Eldon get two duet partners? He's probably the most awkward guy on the planet. You know what, man? You gotta do what's right. Well, what's right? I say you go for it with Emily, man. Trust me, I got three sisters. No, no, that's not what I said at all. What's right is who asked you first. I can only go to the bathroom so many times. Finally. Hey, sorry. Um, I was just really hungry. I needed a snack, so I'm all good now, though. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to drop one of them. Round two, buddy. Here we go. We're duet partners. When Michelle stands up to Eldon, just pushes me more into thinking that she should be dance captain in the studio. The fact that she can stand up and say, this is what's right, I asked you first, you know, that shows real leadership. I think Emily is refusing to give up Eldon because it's another way for her to get at me. Eldon, bro, you're looking huge. Why are you so down, man? Eldon, and I just think there's so much potential for us to grow, you know, yeah. closer together. Yeah, two words. Train wreck coming, which is three words. Stop talking to him. He's my duet partner. Look, Michelle, he doesn't want to be your partner. Get over it. If he didn't want to be my partner, then why would he say yes? Obviously, he just felt bad for you. Why would he feel bad for me? Well, what's wrong with me? I mean, the shirt. You better pick me. You better pick me. Right. <laughs> Go help him out. Eldon doesn't really deserve this. I know James is the right guy to help him out. Yo. Yo. Tough break, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's what you're gonna do. You don't know who your partner is? No, I do. I you do? Yeah. Okay. Today? Okay, grab your partner. Yeah. I just hope everyone's happy with my decision and that none of this is going to come crashing down on me. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. I hate to admit it, but James's advice is really good. Wow. All right, awesome. great, actually. Um, I'm having a blast. I'm having a great time with him. We have a lot of chemistry. I don't know. I'm starting to find a new likeness to James. I'm starting to feel like I'm finally getting her to like me. I mean, she's sending me these little signs, but it's Riley. Mixed signals everywhere. I could definitely see it in Michelle's eyes. She was terrified because she's never really been put on the spot before, especially with the dance captain. We need a leader who keeps us together for regionals, and my sister is just not doing that. I have no idea what this rehearsal is for. All I do know is that we're dancing to Brighter Brightest, so it has to be good. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Nice. Good job, dancers. All right, OK. All right, dolphin tail. Ah! <laughs> you guys like the new song? Yeah. yeah. So does anybody know who this band is? Brighter Brightest. Brighter, brighter. <laughs> so for those of you who do or do not know, I'm actually good friends with the band, and I did their last music video. No way. And they're actually doing another music video, and they want some dancers. But not just any dancers, our dancers. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I'm just joking. What? Oh. No, I'm not. Get excited. <laughs> Brighter Brightest coming to the Next Step studio is a huge deal. Clearly, I'm not as excited as my younger sister, who is probably their biggest fan. I'm so excited. Sorry. Just, I, can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, I want to be cool, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Is asking their autograph kind of uncool? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, asking their autograph would be cool, but I, I don't know. Just be chill. No, just ask for I it. Just be chill. Riley is so going to get nervous. <laughs> Let's be serious, kind of though. Like, you get, like, nervous sometimes. Are you kidding me? I do not get nervous. What have I gotten okay, okay. nervous? Practice on me. Ask my autograph. I don't want to practice. I don't need to practice because I don't get nervous. I guarantee you'll freeze up. Practice. Can I have your autograph? See? Perfect. I'm going to be so cool around Brighter Brightest. It's not even a question. Just do it like that. That was perfect. Okay. Hey. Honestly. Hi, Chris. Chris. We spoke on the phone. Yes, we did. Buddy, what's up? Yeah. How are you? Hey, there you yeah, guys. Too. Brighter Brightest. They're right there in the flesh in front of me. It's all coming true. It's all happening. Sh shmal shma Riley. Riley is so nervous, she's speaking a language that hasn't even been invented. I just start speaking another language because of him. It's all James's fault. I knew it. That's uh, a beautiful accent. Yeah, is it Swahili? It's or? lovely, yeah. <laughs> I feel so sad for Riley. I just want to give her a hug. All right, let's see some freestyling. Oh, okay. All right, let's get it. Let's see some dancing. She's just fine. She's just fine. Yeah, yeah. James, you're up. Right now, we're just showing Derek and Alex how we dance. They just need to make sure that we're good enough to be in their video. So I have this whole thing planned out to dance great, and I kind of messed up speaking to them, but I thought if I show them that I'm a good dancer, everything will be good again. Woo! Same thing happened. Just like I forgot how to speak, I forgot how to move. I dig deep down inside myself, and all I pull out is this. Right now, I am a foreign person who does really bad cartwheels. Like, really? Really? Derek, Alex, what do you think? It was fantastic. You guys brought it. We're so impressed. Really? I'm just nervous. What was I supposed to do? I thought you were going to impress them. You just throw oh my God, Can you please stop? You have no idea okay. how hard it is to stand in front of them. Dance. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just go ask for the autograph. No, I'm not just asking for the autograph. Hey. 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 You. Hey. Hello. In the back. Hey. In the back. Hello, disruptive. Listen, you have Brighter Brightest here. It's an opportunity. How about show a little professionalism, OK? Come on in. Bring it in. Yeah. Pay attention. I'm thinking, great. They now caught us doing something embarrassing. And of course, it's James's fault again. I, 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 <clears throat> it's, yeah. Anyways, um, the song definitely has a lot of chemistry. You know, it's a definitely about a relationship. And uh, I think you guys have a lot of chemistry. There's something obviously going on back there. Yeah, absolutely. How can I have chemistry with somebody that irritating? Well, they're right. I just hope Riley sees it. No, not at all. No way. No. We want you guys to be the focus of the video. You hear that? Being the focus of the music video, although it may be with James, it's still amazing. I can't even believe it's happening right now. Like, it's unreal. Listen, tall order, it's time sensitive. We need it all by tomorrow. All right, and you will have it by tomorrow for sure. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Right, Thanks a lot, guys. We're gonna make a video. Yeah, it's happening. Five, six, seven, eight. One. You pair on the five. Then it's just one, and your hands go up the head. We do a double. Land out of it. No, we're gonna do a single. Like a single is not as exciting, though. We should do a double. But the single works for the music. But like it. Like... But the single works for the music, so let's go back. Which Emily's choreography is boring. It's brighter, brightest, not dimmer, dimmest. Well, you're pretty dim, so that name would suit you better now, wouldn't it? I've just had enough. Do you like any of my ideas? None. Ready? Oh. What did you just do? Pardon? That noise you just made. The reason I moved was to throw Emily off her game. Emily, are you okay? Maybe, like, the snaps just got you kind of... The snaps worse. didn't get to me. You guys are making noises. <laughs> When all the other guys step up and start making animal noises with me, that's my boys. 
they don't realize how important this is, it has to get done tomorrow. Either way, they need to get out of my face. Stop! Ah! If they're not gonna work seriously, then they can't work with me. Get out. You mean like, out of like, you know? No! Get out! I'm down to get out of this rehearsal. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yo, it looks like it's boys against the girls then. Exactly how it should be. <laughs> it's just wasting so much time. We have to get this stuff. So good. Try this one, like boom, ha, down. Oh, nice. So I like that, yeah. bro. All right. So just come yeah. down. <laughs> Dude, yo, you almost like right my ankle. Like, what's up, man? We're in Studio B right now because Emily kind of kicked out all the boys from Studio A. I'm Tiffany, and I like Snoop. Uh, <laughs> I just really want to fit in. Oh, you're never gonna fit in. We all have the same sense of humor. It's always a fun time. This one, this one, this one. Hey guys, uh, sorry I'm late. Chloe! <laughs> oh, I love working with the boys. They're so chill and so much fun to be around. We're gonna kill it. Okay, let's start rehearsal. Oh my goodness. Emily, please go out with me. <laughs> Please. I don't think that's a very good impersonation of me. <laughs> Yo, man, I don't even care, okay? Oh, James. Uh, James. Like, oh, I don't even care. Oh, anymore. you're so good. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just impersonated the e-girls to see how it would go, and it was actually a lot of fun. I'm not really sure if separating the boys and girls is a great idea. I don't really think it's gonna work. I think we should work as a team. Me and James are the focus of this music video, and he is now in another studio completely. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Came back to the farm. <laughs> At least we don't look like that. Really? Because you have a She's tripping you out. The second the guys walked in, it was conflict again. It was funny. It was. You guys were laughing. Come on. 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 Come on.
Face. I had a chance to talk to Brighter Brightest, and I blew it. They think I'm from another country. Yeah, that was a little embarrassing. It's hard for me to keep control of myself because I kind of have this surprise plan for her. But hey, cheer up. I got something for you. What? Yes, this is for you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Good luck in our country. Gracias. <laughs> Ow. Sorry. I think what James did for me was really sweet. I kind of saw a soft side for the first time. Down to you. <laughs> hey, Kate. Hey, Riley. What's up? Oh, I just I can't find this little black book. I can see that she's really overwhelmed. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Actually, yes. If you could pick up the sample costumes from the costume store, that would be amazing. You have to get them before they close, though. It's so important to get the sample costumes today because the shopkeeper is going away on vacation. Okay, don't worry. You can count on me. If I was a superhero, I'd be get it done, girl. It's kind of a lame superhero. Oh, is it? Here's your book. Not so lame now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Got it. Right now, I'm practicing my backhand back tuck, and I can't get the landing. Typical James, he just shows off to everyone. He is such a player, he's such a ladies' man. Woo! Sure you don't want help? Yo, where are you going? Um, nothing, I'm just doing something for Kate. I didn't ask what you're doing, I asked where you're going. Listen up. Okay, well, I'm just going to pick up the sample costumes. I don't know why James is approaching me right now. I mean, I do not have time for it. All right, I'll take it one. Don't you have to get back to your girlfriend? The thing about James is he flirts with all the girls, and all the girls love it, and I'm not falling for it. Beth? She's not my girlfriend. And <laughs> does she know that? Hey, yo, Beth! You're not my girlfriend. I want to go with Riley because I want to spend some time with her. I mean, in the past, she's avoided me. Not this time. She's not my girlfriend. She's okay. fully known. Well, I gotta go. Kate is trusting me to pick up these costumes, and there is no way I'm letting James mess this up. And I'm coming with you. Riley has no idea right now, but her day's about to get a lot more interesting. 
I want to go because it's a great time to hang out with Riley one on one without the distractions from the studio. So I think maybe if she spends some time with me, I can show her that we can have fun together. Hey. What are you doing here? I, I told you I was coming. I told you not to come. Really? That's weird, because I could have sworn you told me to come. I really do not want James to come. I mean, he's just annoying. He never takes anything seriously. Yeah, I love this area. You know, I grew up in this area. My mom bought her car from that dealership. We, me and my buddy Danny, we used to skateboard there every day. Is every he day. even concerned about what everyone else is thinking? I mean, the whole bus does not have to hear his life story. And I used to have breakfast right there every morning before school, just down the street. Mom used to make me walk, of course. And I, de I definitely oh, have my birthday. Do you ever stop talking? No. I like talking to people. As a matter of fact, you know how much I like talking to people? Watch Why? this. No, 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 no. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. Yes. But I just had to tell you, your hair looks gorgeous. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was just hoping for a little peace and quiet on the bus, but looks like that's not happening. It's gorgeous, right, Riley? Look at it. Riley, thank you. Perfect amount of volume and curl at the same time. Oh, thank tell you. Tell me, so where do you get it done? Okay. Maybe, I mean, she could maybe use like a, a good hairdresser, right? Well, you know what? I am super embarrassed. I mean, who does that? Who randomly talks to a stranger? Strangers? They're just friends you haven't met yet. Nice you work that hair, too. girl. Work yeah. that hair, Mary. <laughs> oh my gosh. I totally forgot. My favorite shawarma place is up next block. Okay. We need to get a shawarma. We are not getting a shawarma. Riley, have you ever had a shawarma? No. Then you cannot even say okay. a word. We are it's getting okay. a shawarma. We're getting I'm a shawarma. Perfect. No, we're not getting a shawarma. We're getting a shawarma. It's right here. Doing? Right there. I'm sidetracking Riley because the longer we take, the more time we get to spend together. Doing this. Let's go. Are you serious? If I, get, if I am Come late on. to pick up the costumes, I swear. Riley, let's go. I am not we doing We need this. to get a shawarma. No, I'm not doing it. I find myself following him. I don't know why, but all I do know is that this can't end well. We got the shawarmas and it didn't take that long, so we do still have a bit of time to pick up the costumes for Kate. Try sort of please. Uh, I don't think I have my transfer. Okay. Um, can I get on the bus for the transfer? No. I guess if James can't get on the bus, then he won't be around to slow me down anymore. Um, are you actually gonna go without me? Yeah, who's gonna get the costumes? Riley, is that even the right time? Can you hold yes, this, it's the right time. Oh. You I'm did sorry. not just rip my transfer. Sir, Kay. is this valid anymore? Kay. No. So, but you saw it before, it was valid. Not any longer. The bus driver saw the transfer in my hand. I don't understand why he just won't let me get on the bus. Get off the bus, I'm on the schedule. Um, you heard him, schedule. We, we, gotta, we should just go. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Are you kidding me? Like, really? Why did he do that? Just because I want to spend uh, more time with Riley. Are you sure this is a shortcut? Yes, I'm positive. I know this area. Forever. We're walking through the park, trying to get to the costume shop. And I look over my shoulder, and I find him sitting down on a park bench, smelling his shawarma. What are you doing? Pardon? What are you doing? Oh, well, you see, I get indigestion when I walk and eat at the same time. So I just thought I'd enjoy it on the bench. OK, no, we really have to go. Riley, let's be serious. You're not going to win this. Sit down. I'm going to teach Riley that sometimes in life, you just got to stop and smell the shawarma. Smell the shawarma. Like, is that like a metaphor for something? Smell the shawarma. Sorry. Can we please just go? Yes, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> Jamie! Auntie Kathy! Go figure. Just when I'm about to give Riley a break, my favorite aunt shows up. This is my, um, uh, my friend, Riley, from dance. At first, the distractions were kind of irritating, but now I'm getting really annoyed with James. What's going on, kids? Why aren't you dancing right now? Um, well, we just came from dance, actually. Really? Why, did you, you want to got... see something? Because I have time. You got no, some videos. Yeah. I'm ready to see him right there now. There is no way we're getting to the costume shop on time. You got to do the stuff that you have to get done first. Then you can do the other stuff. That's how life works. My talented nephew Baby. is about to do something. <laughs> I think James's aunt is a little kooky. <laughs> He's so good. Mm -hmm. All of that. All magnificent. 
Oh, ow. I can't get that landing. I keep practicing this flip and I just can't land it. I don't know why. Why doesn't James just give up and smell the shawarma? I took a risk with taking so much time and getting into the costume shop and it just backfired on me. I cannot believe we're late and the store is closed. All because of you. You and your Jamesness. You follow me into the bus. Then you start talking about your neighborhood as if I even care. I'm speechless. There's no words that can describe how frustrated I am right now. And then you pull me off the bus so that we can get your stupid shawarmas. Oh, Riley, you've never had a shawarma. Have a shawarma, have a shawarma. I don't like shawarmas. I hate shawarmas. And then by the time we get back, you rip up my transfer so we have to take your stupid shortcuts through the park, meet your kooky Aunt Kathy, nice lady, but still kooky. I guess I thought deep down that she was glad I came, but she's really mad right now. By the time we get here, we're late and it's closed. Closed. Do you understand that, James? Kate counted on me to get the costumes. And now that the store's closed, we might not even have costumes for regionals. It means we will be dancing at regionals in our underpants. Underpants. I messed up, but I'm gonna fix it. You done? Yo, don't worry about it. I'll get us in the store. James always acts super cool, and sometimes there's just things that even James can't do. Watch this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kid, we're closed. Can you let us in? No, 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 look at the sign. We need to get our costumes. No. Please, we're from the next step. No, no, that's it, we're closed. I knew it. We're not getting in there. I'm not done yet. What are you doing with my glass? Um, can my you partner let us... told you we're closed. Get away. Can you please let us in? We need our costumes. Uh, we're going on vacation. Come back in three weeks. We're from the next step. Yeah, yeah. Back in three weeks. Every second that the costume owners don't open the door, I feel like I'm losing Riley more and more. Still not done. Yeah. You watch me work my magic. I'm not giving up. I don't give up on anything. Not even math. What is he doing? <laughs> What is he doing? Just one more. Just so when I can't get this backflip, Riley finally says, You need to set. What? When you do your back tuck, you need to set and then tuck your legs into your chest. I've been watching James do this flip all day. Maybe I was paying more attention than I thought. Wait, how do you know that? Don't even worry about it. Finally, thanks Riley. Now that's what I call teamwork. Come on, let me in. Please, just let me in, I need those costumes. I just flipped. I've been working on that flip forever. Come on, let me in. Riley, help me out, help me out. I joined James's dance because what do we have to lose? The look on their faces when we're pulling off these moves, I definitely think we're winning them over. Honestly, I'm just having a blast with them right now, and it seems to be working. Whether or not we get in, it's just nice to see Riley let loose and dance with me. This is fun. This is fun right here. <laughs>
Should we let him in? Yeah, yeah. Let the kids in. I feel so relieved. I mean, I can't believe James actually got them to open the store. Of course my idea worked. Not without Riley's help, though. After today, I kind of see James in a new light. I first met you in late September, but I know, I know, I know, I know. What about if I help you? If you miss a dance practice, I can teach you the routine. You want to help me? Of course, why not? OK, that would be really awesome. When I overhear Michelle talking to Chloe and telling her she's going to help her out, I have my mind now set on making her dance captain. We really need to reapproach her. Thank you for offering your help. What Michelle does is she actually tries to help her with her situation instead of just putting her down. That showed us just another quality of why she'd be such a better dance captain than Emily. Thanks a lot. Thank Oh, hey, guys. Oh, hey, Hello. Michelle. Hey. 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 Think now's a good time? Yeah. How long have you been sitting there? Uh, like 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Wow, we didn't even see you. It's OK. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we saw you with uh, Chloe. Yeah. yeah. We kind of overheard your conversation a little bit, how you yeah. going to help her with the moves. I'm worried because I don't want them to know Chloe's secret. That was yeah. awfully um, leader-ish of you. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm just trying to be kind. Kindness is a great skill to have as a dance yeah. captain. I really don't want to be dance captain, and they have to understand that. You have to at least think about it, like seriously. I did think about, think about it. it. No, you didn't seriously yeah, you consider definitely. it. Yeah, I did. You have to believe in yourself. I do believe in myself. I just things have just settled down. Things never settle down completely with my sister. They're going to boil back up again. Come on, you know you're the right choice. You'd be perfect for it. Perfect. You, you have to replace her now before things get worse. No. Can you please consider it? For real. Hey, just think about it, all right? Come on. I believe in Michelle. We're hoping Michelle realizes that and is ready to step up. Yeah. Getting the solo is a huge deal. So yeah, I really want it. I don't want to show that I'm not all about just like break dancing and flipping. You know, I want to show some technique too. That's how I'm going to get the solo. I want this solo so bad, I can taste it. James, you came in second, so you'll be Daniel's understudy. Yes. Yes. So make sure you win the team as well. <laughs> Good job. Oh, come on. It kind of worries me a little bit because I do not have the same feet or flexibility as Daniel. But, you know, if I ever had to, I'd just add my own swag to it. This is the moment where things are finally going to change. This is the beginning of a revolution. I, I can't do anything. But I'm not going to stand here and watch you girls be bullies. She did not just quit the studio because she is our one chance at winning at regionals. Michelle left the studio. Okay, but we still don't know that for sure. She picked up her bags and left. If she left, our whole plan has gone to shreds. I know. Plan is done. Like, there's not even a... Michelle! What's up? Do you still want me to be dance captain? When Michelle finally tells us she's ready to become dance captain, it's just like, booyah! Plan done. We just need to show Kate and Chris that nobody really wants Emily and her bad choreography here anymore. We need a new dance captain because the way that Emily's treating people is horrible, and we're not going to win regionals with her choreography. I have an idea. I say we re choreograph the regionals routine, make it so good, make it better, include people's ideas. Yeah, and then we can show it to Kate, and she'll love it so much that she'll have to put you as dance captain. I'm down. When do we start then? No time like the present. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two.
two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. I'm choreographing a new dance to get rid of Emily. Well, when Michelle brought up the thought of me using hip hop, I loved it. It was right on for me. I love adding that swag, and I love the fact that she's so chill about it. We're all putting in our own input, so it's turning out great because we all have a say in it. It's so new and fresh and different, like even better than I expected it would be. <laughs> Riley, James, and Michelle. When Chris walks into the studio, I think we're all busted. My heart kind of skips a beat a little. Studio A is where rehearsals oh, taking place. Oh, we're supposed to be in Studio A. Yes. We were wondering where everyone was. You know, I covered it up good. Just pretended that we were waiting for him. No worries. Come oh, on, sorry, hurry up. Sorry. Go, 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 babe. I feel relieved now um, that we haven't been caught. He doesn't know, so thank goodness. We're fine. I mean, it's great and everything. Don't get me wrong, it's very energetic, but I don't know, I want something more. I want something more fun, more groovy. Emily's routine, I really don't like. It's too choppy and too bland. Riley, James, and Michelle seem particularly lazy. It just seems like people aren't committed. As soon as we're done Emily's rehearsal, we're back in Studio B working on Michelle's routine. One, two, three, four. You can't go too oh, far back. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I'll come yeah. back to that. OK, so we're at him. Um, Yo, James. Yo, what up, man? I come into B Studio because this is where I keep my extra socks. And then I get suspicious because I see Riley, James, and Michelle rehearsing something. What are you guys doing in B Studio? Should we invite him into the dance or not? Uh, we kind of got something to show you, man. All right, so show me. We've been forced to show Wes our dance and tell him what's up. I just hope it works out. That's all we have, bro. That's all we have so far. <laughs> what do you think? Let me get this straight. You guys made this new routine to show to Kate to overthrow Emily so that Michelle can become the new dance captain. Is that right? Am I, am I right? That's right. Really? That's what you bright lights worked up? I am a little bit worried as I wait for West's reaction. We literally like just put it together not too long ago and like it, it was kind of messy, so I didn't know if he was gonna be like, this is a joke, and then go tell Emily or something. If Wes doesn't like the dance, then it could be all over for us. Love it! <laughs> but you know, I got some good ideas. I mean, why don't we, you know, we just add a little bit of, you know, some... But you're gonna have to teach us. Yeah. I... Yeah, no problem, man. All right. I am loving West's moves. West being in the routine is probably one of the best things that's happened so far. I love the fact that Michelle lets me incorporate my own style, and I definitely think Michelle will make a better dance captain. Yeah, I know. Sick. With West and all that tutting. Oh my gosh, go. like, no. this thing? Who would have thought of that? I know. It was so it was sick. Sweet. I can't, I can't even remember it, but whatever. I'm really excited. What do you think Emily would do if she found out right now? She'd probably She'd go to Kate. Flip. Yeah. I'd rip my head off. <laughs> rip all our heads off? Whatever. All right, so we have the secret knock. I'm so addicted to you, to you, to you. Just so that we know who's coming in. Come in. Guys. Yo, what up, man? Hey. I, uh, kind of did something. What? I told somebody about the dance. What? Ooh. I come into Studio B because I know that they're working on a dance. That's huge, so I really want to make sure that everyone's up for it and they know what they're getting into. Riley, Emily's your sister. It's gonna be war. Is dance more important than my sister? Yeah, but my sister does not deserve to be dance captain. She's not, she's tearing us apart more than she's bringing us together. If I'm gonna join, I have one condition. What is it? I get to keep my solo. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's great, okay. Having Daniel join the routine is awesome. You know, between his technique and West's style, you know, I think we're gonna have some great moves. So last night I was watching um, a video on YouTube and it was this guy 
he was doing 24 different accents. Yo, like, I've seen that. Is he right? good? Yeah, he's so really? good. No, no, no. no, no. What, what From England alone. They had, like, we're sitting around um, talking and doing funny accents because we don't want to deal with what we have to deal with, which is who should be added into the group next. Come on. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you sound Australian. Hello. Hello. I can't do it. Robinson T. What is it? <laughs> May I please have some more? That was so bad. <laughs> they were all helping me. They're all helping me. Yep. Without us? I couldn't find you guys, I'm sorry. I'll definitely ask you guys next time. I do trust Chloe a little bit more now. We can maybe get her on our side. Hey, it's getting late. Everybody head home. Good idea. I really hope Chloe's cover works. I mean, we still have a lot of work to do, so we just need to get back to rehearsal. All right, buddy. You know the drill. Sample math test. Bring it to me when you're done, all right? Oh, serious, man. Yep. My final math exam is tomorrow. Chris wants to make sure that I'm focused on it so my mom doesn't pull me out. We're at the peak season, and if she pulls him, it ain't gonna be good. So I gave him the practice test so he can be prepared for the real test. Look, chapter four, underneath the word problem, you'll find the answer. All right? <laughs> <laughs> and with that practice test, I kind of slip in some answers here and there just to help him out. Emily? James is gonna be sitting this round out, so keep in mind his spacing, okay? Okay, why is he sitting out? That's between me and James. Just worry about the dance, okay? All right. Sounds good, thank you. We're going from the top, and I want it full out. One, two, three, four, turn out your legs! Emily's in a really bad mood. I'm kind of happy I'm just out on this one. So, um, how was the math test? Uh, I had my final math exam this morning, and it went, uh, pretty much how I expected. I killed it. It was fine. Really? Yeah. No. No, you're lying to me. No, I killed it, for real. I know James is lying because I know James. I mean, he can't put anything past me. No, you're lying to me. <laughs> Can you please just be straight with me? Come on, just be okay. straight with me. All right, I might have done a little bad on it. How much is a little bad? It was a small test, though. You failed I the swear test? it was small. You, it was small. Was it really that small? Yeah, but five plus four equals nine. OK, that's great, but that's like grade one math. That means I'll pass the okay. next time. For real. I messed up horribly. I mean, I let my whole team down. That's just not me. I'm being serious. Was it that small of a test that it won't matter or affect your grade? No, it's kind of big, actually. <laughs> okay, Don't worry about it, This is not though, funny. Honestly. What does this mean? Um, I'm getting pulled from the studio. I'm gonna miss dance so much, and like, I'm not gonna see Riley every day. Like, it's gonna be tough. Five plus six equals 11. That's math right there. For real. Mm -hmm. Don't even worry about it. If James left, I would be pretty upset. I mean, we've gotten really close lately, and I need him. Well, we need him for regionals. I saw the e-girls with Michelle's phone. I went over there, checked it out, saw what they did. So I took her phone and hit it. When I see the look on Emily's face, I find it so funny to watch her just go through that. It's great. All right, let's see what you got. I'm really excited to perform the dance just to show the whole team what we've got. Michelle is trying to overthrow me as dance captain, and honestly, good luck to her because it's not happening. You're the hook in my favorite song. You're the rhythm that drives me along, long, long. Gotta turn you up to turn me on. It's magnetic. Honestly, Michelle choreographing this new routine behind my back isn't as hurtful as everyone else joining in. I mean, people I've grown up with are in there. My sister's in there. Addicted to you, to you. There's nothing that I want to, want to, to see you. I'm so addicted to you, to you. I only really want to, want to be near you. When we're doing the dance, I can see right through Emily, and I know she's killing herself inside.
everybody's killing the moves, we're killing the dance. You know, we're kicking butt. Kate looks impressed, Chris looks impressed, Emily does not, which is a good sign. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. You know, seeing it all happen is a lot harder than just planning it behind the scenes. But I know it has to be done. Dancers, uh, we have another announcement to make. Miss Deborah, this is James' mother. Um, actually, Chris, with respect, I think this is an announcement that, uh, James should make himself to his friends. I think that they deserve that. Um, as of today, um, I'm being pulled from A Troop. What? You're not in the A Troop anymore? Nah, man. Sorry, I let you guys down. Why? Um, my math grades are slipping a bit. It's not a big deal, though. You know, I beg to differ, James. Um, they're not slipping a bit in math. He just failed his math exam, and uh, he knew, it. no, he knew that this was the consequence of that. That means we're gonna have to find another dancer, do new choreography, new transition, and given the time frame, I'm not sure if that's possible. And I'm sorry that it's come to this, I really am, because I know it puts you in a bit of a bind, but I don't feel like I have a choice. He's out. I think that I really am only left with one decision, and that's to pull him out of the studio. I'm sorry, but that's how it's gonna be. What, so there's no way that we can get him to dance with us at regionals? No. He needs to spend time on his studies. I'm disappointed James is leaving. We've gotten really close lately, and I don't know what I'd do without him at the studio. I have an idea. I I'm sorry, who are you? I'm Michelle, the new dance captain. Dance captain? When did that happen? Mom. I thought Emily... Mom, okay, never Michelle. mind, never mind, never mind. So, you were saying? I say James leaves for two weeks, focuses on his studies, and brings up the grades, because we really need him for regionals. And I, I understand that, Michelle, but James has promised me these things before, and James will do what he always does, which is find something more fun to do than math. And that's not hard. Root canals at the dentist are more fun than math. You know, you blow it off, James. We, none of us knew about this problem. Now we all know, and now we want to fix it. Right, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm a math genius, so I could definitely help your son. We can all help him. We can. I don't know. Please. 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 Come on, please. When Michelle gets everyone down on their knees, it really just showed me that everyone is behind her. Stop right. Come on! Please. 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 I mean, that's a team unified. That is not a team divided. That is a team fighting for one goal. Please. Please. Can I take a picture of this? <laughs> you zip it. I'm feeling a little more needed at the studio than I ever have before. I mean, the whole dance crew, A Troop, is just on their knees for me. <laughs> I kind of liked it, actually. Please. Please, please, please. We need your son. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I'm still talking because my lips are moving, so listen good. I don't want to see any dancing from you for two weeks, James, and I mean it. No class, no rehearsal, no studio, no age group. I don't want to see so much as a flat ball change from you, James. And I'm warning you, if those grades do not improve, I'll... Where's your tail? You're skinny behind into military school so fast, your head'll spin. Okay. Do you see how serious I am? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah! You are very persuasive. Thank you. Maybe leaving the studio for two weeks is something that he needs. And when he comes back, it'll be a check mark in his brain for him to be like, hey, I gotta buckle down. And I'm gonna tell you something, I am getting soft in my old age. <laughs> All right. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Let's go. Dude, two Thanks, weeks. Thanks, guys.
Yeah. 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 James. James. Oh. James, mommy's having a hot flash, okay? I'll meet you in the car. What? What, am I embarrassing you? <laughs> no, Mom. Really? I'm Mom. embarrassing you? Oh, my Lord. Well, that's good, because I was put on this earth to embarrass okay, you. Thank Don't be Mom. long. All You've right. got homework. Yeah. <sighs> Listen, I'm so sorry about that whole math thing. I screwed up. I know. I don't know what to do. Tell me. Tell me, Riley, what am I supposed to do? He can do it. I mean, he just has to set his mind on doing it. I need to think of something that will give him a little motivation. I have a proposition for you. If you get a 70% on your next math exam, no less than a 70%, I will go on a date with you. What makes you think I really want to date you, though? I don't know. Do you? Seeing her standing there and just asking if I liked her made me like her all the more. Because I, I could never figure out this girl. I could never figure her out. And by her saying that, she pretty much was agreeing to liking me back. So it's a deal? Yeah, I think it's the best deal ever made. See you later. Yeah. I know we kind of ended things on a rough patch. I mean, with Michelle becoming dance captain and all. I just, I just want to make things right. Um, can we talk? As sisters, not dancers? As dancers, we have nothing to talk about. And as sisters, we have even less. You're not even my sister anymore. Why'd you have to come from here? In this town, no one It feels like she's getting further and further away from me. The fact that she said we're not even sisters. I don't regret putting Michelle back as dance captain. It's the right thing to do. On a personal level, maybe it was a bad choice. Think I'm gonna have to leave. I don't know. With my dignity in the tire. I'm old enough to breathe. I just lost my big sister. And it's all my fault. Where did everybody go? I haven't been back in the studio, it feels like in forever. I have been studying like crazy at all this math stuff. I really need to up my grades so that I can stay, but I just can't keep focus. Hey. Yo, what's up, man? What are you drinking? Do I look like the kind of guy that would order tomato juice with carrot on That's top? That's disgusting. Did they just leave it here? Yeah. Ew. Service is brutal here now, man. They're going downhill. Yeah. Yeah. What are you working on? Uh, just some math, man. Yeah. I found it really helped. I did the right angle triangles first with oh, Sakatoa really? and everything. Soka what? Sakatoa. <laughs> it's man, a, they're I the speak trigger English, ratios. I'm not on that Chinese stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, are you alright, man? Yeah, I don't know. I, I landed funny in rehearsal the other day. I think it just kind of tweaked my ankle. Really? Sure. Yeah, it'll be fine, though. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna grab a juice. Right. I do believe him because he's an honest guy, but then again, I don't. The way he was wincing, it does look like he might have injured it a little bit. Hey, Riley, what's up? Hey, not much. How are you? I'm pretty good. Right now, I'm video chatting with James because his mother won't allow him to come to the studio. Two weeks till I get my grades up, so it's my only way to connect with her. It's going good, actually. Um, your second row? Of course I'm in the middle row. <laughs> I didn't even have to audition. 
I know. You'll never guess who's in the back row. Emily. She's in the back row? Yeah, Michelle just put her in the back row. <laughs> That's funny. So how's the math going? It's good. It's good. Don't even worry about it, though. We'll be going on that date in no time. Me and James have our own little deal. If he gets a 70% on his next math test, then I will go on a date with him. Test me. OK. What is the volume of a cube that is 2 by 2 by 2 inches? Um, 2 by volume uh, 39 cubic inches? Really? No, wait, wait. I know this. It's 34 cubic inches. No. It's somewhere in the 30s. <sighs> no, it's not even close to the 30s. I feel a little doomed, the fact that, you know, James doesn't know the answer to that simple math question. I just hope he can start taking this seriously and really focus. Can you please, like, think, like, actually seriously think about uh, it? I'm losing signal. I, I, can't, I, can't, I, I can't, can't hear you. James. James. <laughs> nah, I'm totally playing, girl. OK, well, you have to stop playing all the time. We're all counting on you. I know. I may be a little disappointed. I mean, I did kind of want to go on a date with him. But, you know, it's also more important that he gets here for regionals so that we can work on our routine. I actually have to go, though. Yeah. Wait, wait, It's eight cubic inches. See ya. It seems like every math question he gets right kind of shows that he likes me even more. Let's just say I hope he aces the test. <laughs> I'm writing cue cards right now for James. With all the drama and craziness that has been going on at the studio, it's a great way to just kind of get my mind on something else. What are you doing? Making cue cards for James. For James? Yeah. What's going on between you guys? Nothing. We're just friends. Hmm. I'm just helping him with math. He is in the second row. We do need him for regionals. It's just typical Tiffany right now. She's just digging for gossip like she always does. So I'm just not going to give it to her. I've seen the way he looks at you. Definitely more than just friends. He gives you those googly eyes. <laughs> I'm telling you, he likes you. Hey, James. Hey, guys, what's up? How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. Well, I'm not at the studio because my mom took me out so that I could focus on my math because my math grades were slipping. We're here to do your daily math pop quiz. Are you ready? Yay. Yeah. Um, but I make cue cards this time, so. Dry, OK. Everyone who's a part of A Troop has been taking shifts to help James with his math. What is cosecant? Um, the inverse of cosine. Yes. Good. Good job. It's important to pass because if I pass it, I get to go back to the studio and I get a date with Riley. Uh, does sine to the power of 4 times theta minus cos to the power of 4 times theta equal 2 sine squared theta minus 1? Um, 3? No, no. You just have to say if it's equal or not. Um, yes. No. No. <laughs> OK, let's do another one. Yeah. Because you need to get these right. I don't really know if he'll make it back, but I really hope he does, because he's a huge part of a troop. I don't know if I can learn all the material in time, and I'm, I'm kind of stressed out about learning the dance. I got to get to know it a little better, I think. Well, I mean, I guess I could come teach you. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm down for that. It's technically not at the studio. And I mean, as long as your mom doesn't see you dancing, it doesn't matter if other people see you dancing. Technically, my mom's not going to see it, so I'm not breaking the rules. Right now, I'm at James's school just to keep him up on all the choreography for the regionals routine. James. Hey, you ready to learn Michelle's choreography? I can't. I'm sorry. There's too much on my plate right now, OK? What? No, James, come on. My teacher just scheduled a math retest for tomorrow. So? You know this stuff, James. You've been studying for weeks. 
I'm not ready for the exam. I'm not going to pass it. I've already accepted that I'm not coming back to the studio. Just relax, OK? I'm telling you, I don't know any of it. I have to get tutored after class. I still don't know it. OK, yes, you do. No, I don't. OK, you know what? Let me prove it to you. Here. Oh my gosh, you bring cue cards? Yes. Can you just tell me the angle? I don't know, 92? <laughs> I have no idea. This is a right angle, right? Yeah. Right angle triangle okay, meaning... It's 90 degrees. Exactly. So how many degrees are left over to make the other two? 45 degrees. Exactly. You just figured it out. OK, but that's one question. There's going to be like 50 on the test. One out of 50, what is that? Like 2%? Exactly. You just figured out another math question. I do think James will pass his exam. I mean, he just has to believe in himself. You answered every question right. You know all this stuff. I told you this. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. High five. High five? High five. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. You're welcome. He just got every single question right that I asked him, so he's clearly capable of doing this. She believes in me when no one else does. It feels like anything is possible with Riley. Follow me. Ready? Riley, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm dancing. Yo, there's nothing to see. Hit the road. I begin dancing because for so long, I've always been the one who's always so stressed out about everything. And for once, James is now stressed out about math. And I just need to show him how to let loose. Come on, James. Man. Just learn the choreography. You can do this, James. Run to the school? Do it for me. OK, well, I don't know it. OK, well, then so let me teach slowly. you. Fine. From the top. OK. Ready? Yeah. One, two. As I'm dancing, it kind of just makes me forget about all the math and everything, and it just makes me realize that I really don't want to stop dancing at the studio. Right now, I'm just at the studio getting in some extra practice time, rehearsing my solo, and just dancing. I think I'm old enough to know Where did everybody go? Think I'm old enough to hear. I walk into the studio and I'm just so excited to be back. And on top of that, Riley's just dancing his solo. It's the perfect day. Why'd you have to come from here? In this town, no one knows I go. When I see Riley dancing to a song called Where Did Everybody Go, it makes me think of how Emily left and how I left. It just, it makes me feel bad. It kind of stirs me up a bit. Where did everybody go? That was unreal. Thank you. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here until you pass your math exam. True. No. Bam. <laughs> the pass. It's amazing. Oh, I'm almost ready, sorry. Not just a B, of a B plus. Uh, that's awesome. Well, uh, you know what that means, right? Yeah, you're back in nature. True. True. Um, but also, uh, means you owe me a date. Don't tell James, but I may be a little excited and also kind of nervous. I mean, it's my first date. I don't know. I just have to wait and see how it goes. It feels so great to come back to the studio. I mean, for a moment there, I really thought that I wasn't coming back. I'm not a teddy bear. 
Having James back is like finding a dog. I mean, you're so happy because you found the dog. And then you bring the dog to the owner, and the owner's even more excited. But that's that feeling, that feeling right there. I am putting every inch of my brain power into this date. I really hope she enjoys it. Hey. Hi. Why are we meeting here? Come on. I chose Studio A for our date because it's where I first met Riley. I mean, any guy could take any girl to a restaurant. This is original. This is not very romantic. What? There's more to it than you think. I'm always here dancing. I don't want to have my first date here. Trust me. Here. Take this. What is it? As soon as James pulls out the passport, I'm a little more intrigued. Where did you get my yearbook photo? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Riley has a passport because I know she loves to travel. Maybe he put a little bit more effort into the date than I thought. OK. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. We're going to have fun. Come on, I'll show you. Well, for my date, we're going to eat a bunch of food from around the world, different countries. And before we get a little bit of food from each one, I'm going to stamp your passport. <laughs> so what country do you want to go to first? Surprise me. OK, well, I think I'm going to go to America first. OK. Just because I love the burgers. I've always wanted to travel the world. OK, we have to stamp your passport first. Of course. So James definitely has my attention now. Bon appetit. She's starting to enjoy it more and loosen up again, so I think that the date is going really good. Okay. I would love to go to India. I built up this idea in my head of what a first date was supposed to look like. Mm, that looks good. I realize now that it's not the most important part at all. <laughs> Welcome to India. Behind those eyes, there's something you know. Continues on, James asks me to dance. I think I'm falling for you because I've come so under. I just felt like it was the perfect thing to do after dinner. You amaze me and make me crazy too. I've never been this close to Riley before. It just felt good. Deep in my bones, my tongue is tied, but it always feels As far as first dates go, this one was pretty perfect. So, man, how was that date with Riley? Details. It was cool, man. It was all right. I don't want to tell anyone about my date with Riley because Riley's different. I don't want everyone to know. It's special. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't good. I mean, it wasn't was you know, right? terrific. Right. It wasn't extravagant or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Like a dead whale. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> like, yeah, man, it was cool. Yeah, whatever. Like, it was just cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> when Giselle mocks me, it's fine. I know she was just playing around. Yeah, she got you. She got you. <laughs> that James got to make fun of my laugh. Yo, man, what up? Yeah, uh-huh. So then, uh, who talks like that? Em. Hey, what are you doing here, Riley? <sighs> Dad wanted me to come talk to you. So you didn't even want to come talk to me yourself? OK, of course I want to talk to you. You just never listen to me. Well, we don't really have anything to talk about now, do we? Things between me and Emily have been really bad lately, but I have to give it one last shot. I want my sister back. We promised each other we would keep our dance lives separate from our personal lives. Yeah, and you broke that promise. So did you. Riley, I don't know how to fix this one, OK? I don't know what to do. I would love to fix my relationship with my sister, but I don't see how that can happen. Resolving things with Emily is going to be harder than I thought but I have to find a way to get through to her. 
Remember the time when I was supposed to feed the kittens, but I thought you were feeding the kittens, and it turned out that none of us were feeding the kittens when really mom was feeding the kittens? Well, maybe we just need to feed each other. Like, you can be the sister I need, and I'll be the sister you need. Knowing that she wants to still be my sister and she, she needs me, just makes me feel loved. I'd be willing to give that a try. So, how are things with you and Eldon? We're good, actually. It feels amazing to be talking to Emily again. I mean, we're finally mending our relationship and getting back on track to being sisters. How are you and James? Um, I don't know. I mean, he took me on a date last night. Really? Yeah. What'd you guys do? Well, he brought me to Studio A, and he had it all decorated. Um, and he got foods from all around the world, and like he made me this passport. Are you serious? Hearing that James set up that whole date was kind of shocking. James has never worked that hard. I don't know. I'm, I'm just still a little confused as to whether we're in a relationship or not. So ask him. Really? Yeah. Guys like it when you're straight up. No games. Emily's advice is really helpful. I mean, I had no clue what to do with me and James, and Emily just cleared it up for me. Mm. And I gotta get back to rehearsals. Okay. I think things will definitely be different between me and Emily. With everything we've been through, I feel like there's nothing we can't conquer. I pulled James aside because I need to ask James where we are in our relationship. What are we right now? What? Are we in a relationship? <laughs> Did you just ask me that question? Okay, I'm being <laughs> serious. I, I don't know, do you want to be in a relationship? I wouldn't be asking if I didn't want to. Is that a yes? Finally, she does like me back and it makes me feel great. Just give me one second. for so long now and finally it is actually for real. <laughs> I'm really excited to start my new relationship with James. All of a sudden, Daniel and Giselle break formation. What are they doing? This is not what we've rehearsed. I know they're gonna nail the lift and I know Miss Kate is gonna be impressed. I feel really confident that Giselle and I can pull this off. We've practiced and the lift is flawless. As soon as I hear a thud, I know something must have happened. Daniel's on the ground in so much pain. I don't even know what to do. I don't know if he, if he broke his foot. My heart breaks for him because he's worked so hard for so long and he could be out now. I'm so scared. Right now, we're all just waiting around in Studio A, waiting for Kate and Chris to come back and tell us what's going on with Daniel. Daniel's injury is serious. It's a grade three ankle sprain. A grade three ankle sprain means that there are torn ligaments. If it doesn't heal properly, it could be a career ender. That's his career on the line. A sprained ankle is serious business. I'm feeling horrible about what I, what I did to Daniel. I just took it too far. This is not Michelle's fault. Yeah, Giselle and Daniel said they could do the lift. Well, Daniel clearly couldn't do the lift, so Michelle shouldn't have let him do it. Guys, I don't think it's fair to blame Daniel in this. No, no, it's definitely Daniel's responsibility. He knew his ankle was hurt. He should have said no to the lift. Wait, what? so you're saying you knew that he was injured and didn't tell us? You didn't tell me? I, I wish that I mentioned Daniel's injury a little earlier, but I honestly thought that he had it under control. He should have known his limits as a dancer. That's the first rule in dance. It's hers. It's Daniel. It's not it's her fault. Sorry, it's her job. She's a dancer. To stop blaming everyone else. Okay, it was an accident. Now puts us in a tough position. But stop throwing the blame around.
James not doing his homework right now is not good. We're always at the studio rehearsing and we just have to find time to finish our work. I'm already practicing the solo. Since Daniel's not going to regionals, it falls on my shoulders now. the ligaments pretty badly and it looks like I'm gonna need surgery and the doctors say I won't be able to dance for months it's really weird dancing without Daniel now that he's not here the routine is really different but you can't go to regionals if you don't have 10 dancers I'm really just trying to get this solo right Sorry, guys, can I, can I try that again? I just messed up a little uh, bit. Yeah, sure, James, but let's take a five, okay? I can do it again. No, it's okay. We'll do it afterwards. Everyone take five. Um, when Kate calls a break, I knew she only called a break because I screwed up the solo, which just kind of makes me angry because I can get it. I just want to try it again. All right, sorry, guys. I know James is trying really hard to get that solo, but Daniel was the best person mm -hmm. for that position. Look, I know this is going to sound crazy, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but... We need to try and get Emily to come back. What? No offense, Michelle, but how do we manage to do that? Yeah, Emily is so stubborn. There's no way she's coming back. This is her home. We're her family. I know we can do this. We can get Emily to come back. And you guys are just giving up on the idea. Are you guys into this? Yeah. I guess we can give it a shot. I'm finding the solo really difficult because basically the solo was carved out for Daniel's style of dancing, very technical, which is almost the opposite of my kind of dancing. I think I could get it, but I just really need to work at it. Hey. Hey. What's up? Nothing. Uh, I'm just working on my solo. How's it going? Um, pretty bad. <laughs> I'm kind of behind on it. Well, I got tickets to a concert. Really? And I have two. Do you want to come? I'd totally love to, but I can't. I'm really busy with this. This is just one of Beth's ploys. I'm not falling for it. Love come on, my friend bailed on me, and now I have no one to go with. You just caught me at the worst time. You really gonna I leave can't. me hanging? I can't, Beth, I'm sorry. OK, fine. You're going to regret it. Yeah. OK, see you. Good luck. See ya. Solo. Thanks. James? Yo. Hi. What's up? Seeing Beth with James, I know she still kind of has a thing for James, but I know James definitely doesn't like her anymore, so I don't know, it's probably nothing. How's the math going? Uh, it's good. When's your math exam? Um, coming up. Shouldn't you be studying? Uh, I just finished studying. I'm good, I gotta work on this solo now. Okay, but everyone's relying on you to pass this math exam. When Riley tells me that I need to stop working on the solo and to work on my math, it kind of just annoys me. No, Riley, everyone's relying on me to get this solo. OK. If you fail your math exam, you're out of the studio. I just finished studying. Okay. I'll be fine. Thank you. Whatever. It hurts that Riley doesn't believe me. She was the one person that stood by me before when I was going through all of this. I just wish she had a little more faith in me. Now that we know that Emily isn't going to come back to the next step, we have to pull someone up from VTube. We were so close to getting Emily back. You guys need to get over your warm, fuzzy feelings. Emily's not coming back, and we need to start thinking about who we're bringing up from VTube. Well, there's Charlie, there's Zach, and there's Beth, too. We're not bringing Beth. I don't want to bring Beth up from VTube into the H-Troop, because I know if we do, she's just going to be all over me, and I can't deal with that. Okay, well, I'm just gonna run the plan by Kate, and I'll tell you how it goes. All right, cool. Always gotta run the plan to get this done. Wes, can I talk to you? Zach, sure. What's up? It's about James. He told me he got a D on his last math test, and he's not doing too well in a solo either. I don't know, I tried talking to him, but he's not listening to me. I wanted to ask one of his own friends 
to help him out. He's always been there for James, and I know he could probably convince him to focus on his math. I know. I've been thinking about it, too. I think James should give up the solo, just so we can spend that time to focus on his math and not risk getting kicked out of studio. Well, I mean, I was thinking you could talk to him. He'll probably listen to you. Yeah, yeah, I could talk to him, no problem. Okay. I'm really here to just help a friend out. I'm in Studio B because I still feel like I don't have this solo and I need to work on it. I don't give up on things. I'm working at this solo and I'm slowly starting to get it and I will get it. I walk in and be studio because James and I have to have a really, really big talk about his solo. Thanks. And I know it's a talk that's not gonna be easy for either of us. I don't even know how to start it. I've been thinking a lot about your problem. I don't have a problem. I know why you're having such trouble with your solo. Completely fine, man. Look, I know you're working really hard on your math and the solo. I mean, look at you. You just can't do both. Bro, I got it. You think you got it? If you want to stay at the studio, you cannot do both. James knows what he has to do. There's no doubt about it. James heard me. How you guys doing? Well, I'm, we're things, good. Things are good. Yeah. Cool. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Guess there was. Mm, you're good. Nothing. You just came in to see yeah. how we were. Oh, very nice um, of you. When James starts talking like this, I know something's up. I'm a little nervous about how Kate and Chris are going to react. I mean, I just hope they understand. Okay. Cool. Thanks, James. <laughs> uh, I can't dance the solo at regionals. I mean, I, I tried, but but I can't I can't balance the two, and I, I'm I'm sorry. It's okay. You tried your hardest. It's not okay though, because who else is there? It doesn't matter. We'll find someone. We have plenty of time. Listen, this is a smart play. Okay? We need you at regionals. If we don't have you, we can't win. Okay, you did this for the team. Okay. James. Thanks. I'm feeling just disappointed because I guess I, I'm letting the whole team down. Having Emily back at the studio is amazing. I mean, I miss having my sister around. You know, we're finally back to being sisters and it's great. I missed you. I miss you too. I know. <laughs> Did you say I know? <laughs> I miss Being you. back at the studio is a is a little bit of a weird feeling. I mean, it feels like coming home after a long, long time away. But just so you know, so there's no drama or anything, Michelle and Eldon have a duet. But it's nothing. Okay. I mean, they're both amazing dancers, so why wouldn't two amazing dancers have a duet together? Yeah. It's always best just to tell her right from the start what's going on. Otherwise, the drama is just going to get even more and more crazy. I'm not going to make any unnecessary drama. I'm just trying to fit back in. Awesome. Speaking of fitting in, I kind of don't want to be late on one of my first days back. So. Yeah. This time around, I plan to approach the studio as exactly the situation I'm in. I'm the new one. I have to earn my place, and that's what I plan to do. 
Okay, guys. Let's gather in and start rehearsing. Uh, rehearse what? The dance battle or regionals routine? Um, I, oh, no, think, I think, we should... think we should just freestyle the I dance think battle. We should call this entire thing off. This is a horrible idea. No, that's no, that's really that's really really just because you used to dance with them doesn't mean you have to call off the whole thing. That's not what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is that we should no, try and focus on no, Everyone arguing right now is just very overwhelming and frustrating. I want to include everyone's ideas and inputs, but like, it's just way too much to handle. She's not handling the situation well. I mean, she's letting people get caught up in the argument and really carried away. If she had just stopped it and been authoritative, this could have all been settled by now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, I do think Tiffany brings a good point, Wes. We're not gonna call off the dance battle. You really need to accept that and start being with the troop. Riley does bring up a good point. We are still going to regionals and it is our main priority. So if I figure we do the dance battle for two hours and the regionals for one, just so we have it in our bodies still, that'll get us out of here early and we can all get home. Right, Michelle? Uh, yeah, I totally agree. I think it's a great idea. Thanks, Emily. Could I talk to you for a second, Michelle? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, keep stretching, guys. I feel the need to pull Michelle aside because I've clearly overset my boundaries. I'm not dance captain. I'm, I'm new. This, this isn't something somebody who is new should do. I just wanted to apologize for what happened, right? Like just then. I'm sorry. I, I should have kept my opinions to myself. You're the dance captain, and I completely recognize no, that. No, 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 no. It's fine. Um, I actually really appreciate what you just did. Emily apologizing to me is really sweet. What she's doing is the right thing to do, so there's no need to apologize. You know what? Just be yourself and be you. I, well, <laughs> I'm not exactly looking to be a total diva anymore, so I'll let you know when I find out how I'm going to act. <laughs> OK. All right. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Seeing Emily and Michelle kind of be cool together is kind of weird, like alternate universe weird. I am so excited for this dance battle right now. You know, Seeds is right there. They're lined up in front of us. Never done anything like this before. I never did this in Wisconsin. Going into this dance battle, I'm extremely nervous. It's going to be interesting. I'm watching Seeds Battle right now, and they are bringing all their top moves. I just know we have to come back harder. We're all giving it our all. We're all dancing really hard, and I think we're doing pretty good. We're keeping up with them, you know, a move for a move. They throw a move, we throw a move, so I mean, that's how a battle really should be. We're giving seeds a run for their money. Or not, he's kind of took me by surprise. I mean, they are actually killing it. Uh, I'm still pretty confident, though. You gotta let it be. I love the game I play, but I'm on my MVP. So y'all can envy me. I let them stay hating. They on the bench waiting. Coach is the MP. I don't sweat it though. Use them as a stepping stone. My flow is mad high. Hold the team down like a mascot. Right now, we're bringing our best move forward. The girls are coming with some choreo and some tricks. stumble in the Seeds dance battle, um, but they didn't really hold me quite right, so I really hope no one blames me. When Michelle falls, it's not good for my team. I'm not sure how this is going to play out anymore. That's pretty hard to do, and he just kind of ran out like it was nothing, and he threw it in the air and landed it. That was insane. He killed that. None of us three guys can do that. I know that we lost, 
when we ran out of moves to do. And then they just took over the mat, basically no space for us to even stand anymore. They were killing it and we were just kind of standing back. We had no more tricks. We gave everything and they gave more. I'm in disbelief that the next step lost to Seeds. See our regionals. I'm extremely surprised to know that they're going to regionals. They've never been to regionals before. They've never even been into anything like that. They beat us in a dance battle. So what if they beat us again? That'll be humiliating. I mean, what was that? What, what was that? I, I, I still can't believe that we lost to Seeds. We were all so pumped and so ready to just beat them. I honestly, like, I was so shocked that we lost. How can we lose to Seeds? I am a little disappointed in Michelle right now. It's the dance captain's unspoken job to raise the morale of the team, and she just didn't know how, so I needed to step in. Look, guys, we lost. And we lost pretty badly. But the thing is, I'm glad we lost. Did you all hear me? I said I'm glad I lost to Seeds yesterday. Why are you glad we lost? Because now I know exactly what I need to do to kick Seeds butt at regionals. So we lost. We lost big time. But we lost as a team and we lost together. There is absolutely nothing in this world I want more than to go to regionals, win regionals, go to nationals, and win nationals. Just because I lost to Seeds yesterday. So thank you, Seeds. I'm gonna send them flowers. In fact, we're all gonna send Seeds flowers because they kicked our butts. <laughs> Let's hear it for Seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Emily is like a born dance captain. The team needs me and I'm gonna be there for them no matter what. As a team, I think we need some juices. So they're on me today, guys, so head to the juice bar. Uh -huh. Very, very. We got some exciting news. Gather around, gather around, gather around. Miss Kate, the floor is yours. Emily and Michelle are now co-captains. <laughs> Michelle and Emily being co-dance captains. I definitely did not see that coming. What's going on? Chloe's no longer in each troop. What? what? Why? Why? Oh, it's a sensitive subject, okay? I don't want to talk about it any longer. Rehearse. Michelle, did you know it was this bad? Kind of. Wh what? What are you talking about? Chloe's been having some money troubles, okay? And her parents can't afford to pay for dance, so she's been working multiple jobs. How can you tell this? Because she's embarrassed. Guys, if you guys had money troubles, would you guys tell everyone? You don't understand her situation. We all have money. I don't know what we're going to do. We can't do it without her. That's why I have an idea. Come in. I really hope Emily's plan works. Chloe, I can see you. I'd like to order something, so serve that fine gentleman and come over here. Enjoy your meal. When I see Emily, I'm not really sure why she's there in the first place. I don't know why she came here. The section is closed. Does my face look like I care? Okay. I didn't think so. Hi, welcome to Southside Johnny's. My name is Chloe. I'll be your waitress today. Great. I'm going to take a water with a lemon, please. And that'll be all. Right now, um, we're kind of carrying out a plan I devised. Chloe has absolutely no idea what's in store for her. Hey. So I take her order and I come back out and everyone from A Troop is sitting 
there. I'm really upset that they're all there. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, excuse me. Can I get a chai tea with extra sugar, please? Thanks. Your dog. How could you do this to me? Why would you bring them here? I'm just thirsty. Could I get a drink? I don't know how she could do this to me because I thought we were friends and I thought we were closer than that. And I thought that she respected me as a person enough to not tell my secret to all the people that I really didn't want to know. I'll have a rooibos tea, please. Once she sees that we're doing this for a good cause, she'll understand. What can I get for you? I'll have a water. Great. Oh, with one ice cube. I don't really know how the plan is going. Chloe doesn't look too pleased with what we're doing. I'll have a tea. Can I have a water? I'll have a tea as well, uh, with extra mint leaves and on the rocks. Oh, and that means with ice. So a nice tea? All they're ordering is waters and teas, and just obviously there to get back at me for what I did. And I would actually like another lemon wedge, please. Um, uh, I forgot my ice cube. I'm waiting for the tea. Ice cube. The people that I've spent almost every day with and hours and hours and hours with aren't my friends anymore. I just decide, you know what? I'm going to prove to them that I'm stronger than that. They're not going to tear me down. And I just walk back out there and I pretend like nothing's wrong and like I'm not upset and I just do my job. Hi, welcome to Southside Johnny's. My name is Chloe. I'll be your waitress today. How can I help you? This is who I am, and if you're not okay with that, then you're not okay with me. You know what? I, I think I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thanks, miss. West. This is too much. Well, you know what I gotta say about that? Did you know that tea was discovered by Chinese Emperor Sheng Nang in 2737 BC? Yeah. Bet you didn't know that. It was pretty much a $50 tip. I'm really confused as to why he would do that. Hey, Chloe. Hey, it's it's on, on the table. Yeah, we left it on the table. And then everyone else starts to leave and says, Thanks, money's on the table. Thank you. Everyone has left $50 tips. I appreciate it. I think I know now why they all came. You know, everyone left me money. They're all really my friends. I would have never asked for help either. And I would also never accept charity. But Chloe can't turn down a tip now, can she? You know A-Troop's a family, right? And you know you're part of that family. And sometimes, families help each other out. Troop is my family, my best friends. Guess what? Okay. Movie time. Yes. Okay, this is what I've got. I have action adventure. I've got horror. I've got rom com. Rom -com. Yeah. I personally want to watch a romantic comedy. I want to watch a horror movie. I'd like an action or maybe even a comedy. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a competition. So whoever can show me the best dance move gets to choose the movie. Dance will solve every problem. Even who gets to choose a movie. Perfect. West first, here we go. Go All right. West. Go West. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Get it, Grandpa. All right. Okay, let's get it going, West. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, look at those magic feet. Yeah. Too bad Daniel ain't here to see this. West is hilarious. He always comes up with the craziest moves. Just I have out. two moves. Oh, two. Oh. Oh. Giselle just whips out two moves out of nowhere. That's crazy. These really cool acrobatic, you know, backguard kind of things. I think she should win the dance battle. I'm not watching that rom com. Uh, everyone's moves are all right, but I'm gonna bring something new to the table. All right. Oh. Everyone's moves are pretty amazing, but James clearly won. Give that to James. Yeah. Woo! Okay, James, what do you want to watch? Um, 
definitely not a romantic comedy. <laughs> I am so worried about James winning. Last week, James made me watch a movie about a cyborg robot cop in space. <laughs> but I don't really care, so you can choose right here. I just did it because I knew she probably cared more about the movie we watched than I did and kind of made me feel good. I think it's really sweet that James gave me his movie choice. Ooh, touchdown and tutus. Yeah! 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 I love that movie! I can't even describe it. I mean, oh, it was such a good movie. Touchdowns and Tutus is an exquisite movie about a bunch of football players finding the inner beauty of football through ballet. My favorite part of Touchdown and Tutus is when two football players have to drag a boat up the Amazon River. One of the players runs so fast that he goes through a time warp. Magically gets turned into a dog, and all the football players have to come together and go rescue the football player from the dog pound. But then they end up digging this really big tunnel, and they find this box of old football plays from like the 1800s. And it's so cute because it's where they share their first kiss and they fall in love. Now that's just great. Oh. Yeah, it's just, that is great. All right, guys, I think we should play Truth or Dare again. Because only me, Steph, and Wes got to go last time. Yeah, All right, and I'd love okay to see that. someone top mine. <laughs> okay, I dare James to kiss Riley. No, no, I don't want to see that, no. It's easy. Aww. It's not really much of a dare. I mean, I, I probably would have done it anyway. <laughs> it's nice to have everyone else know that we're in a relationship. Ew. Yes. Emily, Aww. Truth or Dare? Dare. I've played Truth or Dare a lot before, and I know it's always safest to pick Dare. I dare Emily to do the saltine cracker a challenge. The saltine cracker challenge is when you have to eat six crackers in less than one minute. It's pretty much impossible. I'm not doing that. You have to do what you're dared. No, I have to do mine. No, that's, that's the rules of the game. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I'll do it. Yeah, All right. I am a little surprised that Emily agreed to do this dare. I mean, she's always so uptight about everything. No water, salty crackers. And it's Emily. All right, you got one minute. Time. You have no watch on West. You don't see this invisible watch right here? <laughs> OK. All right. Marks. And set. go. Salt. Oh, ah, ah. Oh, no. She's spewing crackers everywhere. It's really gross, and like we're all trying to dodge her cracker spit. Oh, really? Oh, 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 oh. Ew. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. She's not really a goofy person, so I don't know. It just. I never thought she would do something like that. Oh. Say the alphabet, now say the alphabet. 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 It's just really nice to see her loosen up once in a while. Kind of reminds me when we were younger. I am actually glad I did the dare. It was nice to be laughed with instead of at for a change. I don't think I ever want to see another cracker in my entire life. It's your turn, Em. You gotta go. Michelle, you haven't gone yet. Truth or dare? Truth after that. <laughs> yeah, there's no fire. Out of all the guys in A Troop, who would you want to date most? Um, West? Ooh. Oh. Obviously, I'm not going to say Eldon because that would just be ridiculous. Oh, so, what does everyone feel like doing? Eating. Yeah, I'm You're so hungry. hungry? Yeah, I'm so do. hungry. Um, what about pizza? Yeah. Yes. yes. I was thinking maybe we can tell some. Ghost story. Yeah, yeah. But everyone's hungry. Come on, ghost story. Tell you Boys versus girls. Whoever gets the most scared buys the pizza. Yes. It's all. Awesome. Someone yeah. turn down the lights. Let's do it. Let's do it. Be prepared to be scared. Oh. The idea of telling ghost stories is really good because there's no way the girls can beat the guys at telling scary stories. Okay, so one night a couple was driving down a dirt road and they had just heard on the news that a person had escaped from a mental asylum and he had a hook for a hand. I definitely think the girls can win this competition because Stephanie's story is really good. All of a sudden, like, the boyfriend doesn't come back, so the girl gets out of the car, and just as she's about to look up... The boyfriend's hanging from the tree, and he's scraping across the roof. Yes. Yes. Heard it. <laughs> We've heard that one before. Yeah. Yo, Wes, you got this one? I'm all over it. this, bro. Right, you got it. I'm right. gonna get some snacks. Okay. We're getting pizza. I'm a growing boy. I want some real snacks. Yeah, he's like, a growing boy. <laughs> some chicken or something. All right, I want to listen to this. Okay. Well, before I tell you guys a story, I just want to let you know that this very dance studio used to be a chicken factory. No, it didn't. Yeah, right. Oh, yes, it did. Oh, yes, it did. It did. Wes is right. It used to be a chicken processing plant. Yeah. Look. I seriously hope we got new floors. I actually <laughs> thought that was just for decoration. Yeah. All right, now it's time for my story. 
Back in the early 1920s, in this very factory, there were a lot of chickens. As soon as I hear the word chicken mentioned in a scary story, Riley's gonna crack. I am terrified of chickens. When I was little, I got attacked by a chicken. From that day, I have never been able to even think about a chicken without getting creeped out. Then one chicken managed to pick the lock with his beak and then all of the other chickens escape, all of them. I think West is scaring the girls, definitely. Until they got on them back, except for one chicken. And one day, when the security guard was sleeping, the chicken came pecked him to death. No. Yes. To this very day, they still haven't found that one chicken. And you can even... <laughs> All of a sudden, we just see this giant furry chicken or bird or whatever it is. I don't even know. I'm so scared. I just scream at the top of my lungs. <laughs> that was priceless. A chicken bird. Come on. <laughs> James did know about my fear of chickens. And it's not irrational. It is perfectly rational to be scared of chickens. They're just freaky. You know, you guys really know how to take things too far. That wasn't funny, though. I believe you guys owe us some pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, some pizza. With yeah. extra chicken. Extra. Extra, extra, extra poultry. I like Hawaiian, so... Hey, Wes. Wes, get over it. Hey, oh. hey, chicken. Change back. Have a great night, sir. Go ahead. I'm just out. Go distract them. Have a good night, Right sir. now, we're going to get the boys back for that little chicken prank. We're going to douse this pizza with hot sauce and hopefully wash their faces, go beet red. OK, so I've been working on this new move, guys. Oh, Ziploc, Ziploc. Smells. It was all my idea to bring the boys because we needed to get them back. There's a lot Wait, of spicy. Oh. Hey, boys. Hey, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. Right? Yeah. Pizza's here. The pizza is here. Yeah. 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 Don't put that in there. <laughs> Dig in. Yo, wait up. Okay. Yeah, yummy. It smells like. Mm. Mm. That has hot sauce on it. No, it doesn't. Nice. My mom used to put hot sauce on everything. I can smell hot sauce from a mile away. And it's not like it was very well hidden either. I mean, it was all over the top of the pizza. Okay. <laughs> oh! Not only did you guys try and pull a prank on us, and fail. But you made this pizza better. Oh, <laughs> man. No, we just... You know, the, the prank was pretty good for girls. That, that, that stuff is really preschool for us. We do bigger and better things. Right. Yeah, this is hey. some good pizza. Hey, what's going on here? What? <laughs> what are you guys doing here? No one should be here at this time. Well... I don't know what to do. I mean, I just kind of backed up. Like, I don't want to go to jail. No, no, it's, it's our day, so you're here with our teacher. Uh, okay. Kate? Where, where'd you go? I don't see any teacher. Where'd you... Well, where's... Where's the no, teacher? Honestly, really, what are you guys doing here? There's really nothing to worry about. Don't where tell me you... what to worry about. And wipe that smirk off your face. Honestly, I, I'm a little bit intimidated. What did we do wrong? We were just enjoying some pizza. Why do you keep talking back to me like that? I was just answering your questions. Are sir. you trying to impress your friends? How impressive do you think it'll be when you have to call your mommy and daddy to come pick you up downtown? Yeah, I'm a little frightened. That's a healthy response. He just pulled up handcuffs. What, he's going to arrest me? OK, I don't think that's necessary. Hey. Was I talking to you? Turn around. What? Turn around. Hands behind your back. As James is getting handcuffed, I'm thinking, OK, oh my gosh, what is happening right now? <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore. Giselle came up with this brilliant idea to bring in her uncle, actually, and he's a cop. Did that work? Did that work? All along, the hot sauce was actually a distraction. I mean, the double prank, the prank within a prank, I should have seen coming. Because I used to live for the double pranks. Wait, hold up. Miss Kate, were you in on this? <laughs> I'm kind of worried. I think they're a little too big. All right, everybody. I know I never make this easy. I actually like my costume, but everyone else looks a little bit ridiculous. I cannot even move in these costumes without something falling off. Whether it's my pants falling to my ankles or my sleeve things flying across the room. There's no way we can dance in these. My jacket fell off. 
my pants fell off, so I'm basically wearing this long shirt skirt. It's brutal. <laughs> falling off, everything's 10 sizes too big, everyone's falling on their face, it's just a huge disaster. Honestly, what I think we should do is just put all the costumes into a big pile, set them on fire, and hope that a search plane comes and rescues us from this dilemma. We can't really do the routine. Everyone's clothes are all over the floor. People are falling everywhere. don't work so well. Honestly, I'm not too sure what we're gonna do now. My uncle's shop was the last choice. So, welcome, Major. We just made the song for you guys to wish you good luck at regionals. how talented these kids were. I mean, they're unreal. I can't wait until they're A Troopers one day. That is the perfect way for us to be sent off to regionals. Stepping out onto the regional stage for the first time, is amazing. There's totally no echo. No, there, there is, there is. No. Echo! That's totally you, man. That's, that's me. <laughs> if it wasn't for Riley and West, I mean, I wouldn't have passed math. I wouldn't have even been here. Maybe I was wrong about him dancing with them. I mean, he's doing a good thing for a group of friends, but just kind of want him to get it over with so he can come back and dance with us. Come on, gather around. Gather around. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Everybody. Come on, Tiff. Yeah, come on. Okay. This is our first step on the road to nationals. Are you guys ready? We're yeah. So ready. Good. Great. Um. Where's West? Uh, I told him three. He should be here. I don't, I don't know. Right there. What? Oh, okay. yeah. Oh. See? Nice. Guys, I hurt my ankle when I was on stage with seats. I don't know if I'll be able to dance. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you dressed, bro? Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I knew it. I knew it. When I learned that Wes was joking, I kind of want to make that limp real. I'm so relieved because now we can go on stage and have a great performance and we're gonna win. We've been waiting for this for so long and we're finally here and I'm just so excited. This is what every 
drama, every tear, every moment is led up to. I mean, this is it. I'm so happy we won our first round. Now we just have to win four more head-to-head -head dance offs, and then we will be the regional champions. First round dance offs continue here at the Absolute Dance Regionals. Watching some of the other dance teams is kind of boggling me because every dance team is really good. It's way better than last year. I just hope we've worked hard enough. Well, the Elite Dance Academy certainly showed off their medal with an impressive 10-point win over Steps in Time, and they're off to the second round. I'm excited. They're one of my faves. The next step scores 87 points, and they're up for the next round. Our biggest competitors are definitely Seeds and Elite. Elite Dance Academy, they're our nemesis right now. So we're just waiting to get on stage to qualify for the semifinals. We're going head to head with Dan Sink in this round. Your head around. Is my hairpiece in tight Can you relax? We're gonna be fine. I feel like my hair isn't done right. I, I should have put on more makeup. I only have one shoe. One shoe. I lost a shoe. Good. 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 You forget your dance, then you remember, and then you forget to put on your lipstick, and then you forget your jazz shoes, and it's just like craziness right before you get on stage. Yo, man, how are you so chill right now? Beginning. Okay. Don't even worry about it. Guys. Dance Inc. is doing a lot better than we expected. I mean, they're not exactly known for being amazing, but right now, they are. We're good. We just need to get higher than an 85 to beat Dance Inc. and get to the semifinal round. It's not impossible. I mean, we got 86 and 87 on our last two routines. We just can't mess up. Next up, competing against dancing for the semi-final spot is the next step. Dancing is a great studio, but I think we got this one in the bag. They are kicking it into high gear, and I'm I'm expecting some of their best dancing. So let's see how next step fares. Absolutely. Yeah. The wings are doing so great, better than they've ever done. I'm blown away. I mean, this is the best I have ever seen them perform. The energy is like oozing out of every single, their fingers, their toes, their everything. They're just, they're doing so good. gets caught in my feather and I know right at that moment we're done she ran at me and I looked in her eyes and I could definitely tell something was wrong that this could be the end for us. Something like that can make the difference between winning and losing.
Stacy. That was an excellent routine, if not for that one scenario where the hair clip comes out. That yeah. is devastating, is it, it is not? It is really devastating. At this point in the competition, something like that can really throw the score. So, I mean, she must be feeling all sorts of horrible right now. Do you, do, in your experiences, is that a difference maker? Absolutely, you know, really? you're, yes. Even with Riley's mess up, I still think we can get higher than an 85. But if we don't, then we're going home. The judges have arrived at a decision. Smile. Hey guys, Smile. Be positive. Let's do this. In their third round, the next step scores 84 points. The next step is eliminated. Great job, don't worry about it. Losing to Dance Inc. is an awful feeling. I mean, we wanted this so badly, and to have it taken away from us, it's bad. Guys, my hand got caught in it, and then it fell out, and we just lost because of me. We just lost. Riley, this stuff happens. We're so close. It's fine, Riley. Look, we all gave it our best shot just makes me so upset. I mean, I let the team down. I let everybody down. And now we lost. We lost it all. Riley, everyone was great, OK? You gave it your all. It happened, and there's nothing we can do about it now. That's right. Look, you, you can't do this to yourself, OK? You just can't. Why is everyone so upset? James, really? Because <laughs> uh, last time I checked, uh, we have a chance in getting the wild card spot. You see, I completely forgot about the wild card. That's true. And we're gonna get it, so. It's kind of the smartest thing James said all year. I've never heard something that intelligent come out of his mouth. Yes. You know what? For once, James is right. <laughs> I mean, other than Riley's hairpiece, we were flawless. So maybe our score will be high enough to get us there. We worked too hard not to make it to nationals. Absolutely. I'm sorry, guys. Stop. Stop. Winner, and let me tell you, it's a debate that's been long held in the sports world. Traditionalists hate anything to do with a wild card. This is my favorite part of the competition because it's really just all the dancers are waiting for that second chance. And I mean, my heart is pounding. I'm nervous for them because it's really, it means everything, you know, to get into the semifinals. The next step, wow. confidence, confidence and art and soul. Please, Please take, take the, the stage. stage. The wild card spot is decided by the judges. They take the highest scoring losing teams, throw out their scores, and then decide who best deserves that spot. It's a really crying shame that one of these teams, two of these teams are going home. Absolutely, but how exciting for the team that gets that wild card spot. I mean, this is it. This is our last chance. If we don't get this wild card spot, we're literally going home, and it was a waste of a year. The judges have made their decision. The truth that will be facing the seeds in the semifinal round is... The next step! Yes. The next step, what a they journey that, they are on. The Phoenix rises, the little engine that could did, sending them to the semifinals. <laughs> I'm just so stoked and I'm so ready to go there on stage and bring it so much more than we have. <laughs> Not only do I get to make it up to everybody for losing my hairpiece on stage, but we get a chance to beat Seeds. That's bad. Oh my gosh, what does that mean? Finally, my team is able to go up against Seeds. I have two very excited dancers with me. These are the co-captains of The Next Step, Michelle and Emily, and they have just discovered that they have snagged the coveted wild card spot, moving them into the semifinals. Congratulations, ladies, how do you feel? Thank you. I guess the only way to describe it is excited. I mean, it's definitely not something we expected or planned for no, even, but... not at all. I mean, being in the wild card is kind of a special feeling. 
We've never made it this far. Competition starts to get fierce right about here because you're facing off against a very focused, determined team, Seeds. And as I understand, this is not actually going to be the first time that you've faced off against them. Is that true? It is not the first time. Nope. This will be our second, actually. But... I mean, we've already lost them once, and they weren't even really trying. So what if they beat us again? That'll be humiliating. We've gotten stronger as a team, and we're ready to compete against them. But Emily can't stick up for herself now. Why does it matter? <laughs> Whatever. Have fun. I've had enough of this Amanda girl. I mean, who does she think she is? She needs to stop picking on Emily. It's enough. Are you okay? Eldon, are you not gonna go talk to her? Eldon, bro, go! Can you please take this seriously? Yeah, sorry. Well, I don't know what to do. She is your girlfriend. Go talk to her. Go, Go Elvin. Go. I'm so clueless. <laughs> I don't understand how he cannot be serious at a time like this. This guy kills me. <laughs> Every time I just joke around with her, she kind of takes it so badly. She just got to loosen up. That's a good performance, man. <laughs> Not better than my crew, though. Oh! Okay, Compass, go and dance a little punky moves. <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> punky moves. Good luck, guys. Seeds has really set the standard pretty high for the next step. Now, the question is, yes, how will the next step, you think, respond to that? I feel like with adrenaline, that, you know, that score of 91, they're gonna come out and really kill it. 91 points. That is the first time Seeds has ever scored that high. And we've never scored that high. Look, you guys, it's really important that we dance with passion, and I do stress the word passion. That's passion with three S's. <laughs> okay. And guys, not only that, we've come so far, not just as people, but, but as, as a team. A team. Okay. Take this seriously, James. Yeah? Yeah. Right. How about, like, we're having a pep talk right before we're about to go on stage, and he just ruins it by being stupid. We've trained so hard. When Riley tells me to take things seriously for, I think, the third time today, it's kind of just annoying. I feel like she doesn't understand me. One, two, three, Man, these kids we raise, eh? I love them. If we beat Seeds right now, we'll be competing against Elite in the finals. Step Dance Studio. And I think really what's exciting here is the next step has never made it to the semifinals before at a regionals. So their hearts must be going right now. They are kicking it into high gear, and I'm, I'm expecting some of their best dancing. needs to be bigger, 20 times more energy. We're gonna do whatever it takes to nail this routine. I'm very confident that the next step will be seeds in the semifinals. I want to prove to them that what we showed them in the dance battle is just a little bit of what we can actually do. I mean, that's wow. so difficult. I don't think you can understand how difficult that is to get all those turns. And the gentlemen, too, the athleticism and the choreography. Like, wow, right there. A spare moment on that stage that's not being used. You get the sense that the audience is really pulling for this. I have group. a feeling they're really pulling for them. They want them to win.
Hit Studio. All they have to do, it's a simple task. Yeah, they score better than 91 points. Hip hop troupe, and this is a more technical troupe, so you're really comparing apples and oranges here. <laughs> what are you doing? I just wanted to say I'm sorry for earlier. Oh, don't sweat it. It's no problem. When Riley apologizes, it really just makes me realize that she does understand me and she just doesn't take it very well when she's under stress. But if I were to send you, let's say, a text message, it would probably say, This is who I am. LOL. Mickey face. Uh, what? I don't stress over things, and you have to accept that. Okay, yeah, I, I can live with that. But you also have to know who you're dating, and I do stress. Can you send me that in text message form so I don't forget it? Just, <laughs> just kidding, we're good, right? <laughs> it's good to have somebody who really gets me, and I mean, we both really accept each other for who we are, and I mean, it's nice to have that. If there's one main lesson, it's that if there's something that you want to get, a goal, a trick, or a girl, don't let anything come in your way. Just go get it. And the next step scores 93 points. pull it together as a team and just give our best performance we've ever given. Yeah, you guys did a phenomenal job with Sutter yesterday. It was amazing. But this is finals, okay? So we need to up our game big time. It all comes down to this one moment. Elite v the next step here. Broadway show, when I see something like this, it's professional level for amateur dancers. their last dance. Next As we take the stage, I'm excited and I want to show them what the next step can bring. Well, Stacy, we are near the end of this conversation. That dolphin tail. Left, uh, what is she doing here? What? Look. Just give me one second. Don't worry about it. I'm be right back. Are you excited to see me? Um, yeah, but I kind of want to focus on the dance. I'm about to go on stage. I'm so excited to be here. As soon as I found out you made it to finals, I knew I'd come. Come on. How did you even get here? <laughs> I took a bus. Actually, I took two. You bus? Yeah, and it was eight hours. I don't think anything's going on between James and Beth. I mean, James likes me, and I know that, but I don't know if Beth knows that. Okay, well, thanks for coming, but I gotta get back on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, I've been thinking of it the whole way, and I need to tell you that I, I still love you. Um, when Beth told me she loved me, I, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of a mind blower. You don't need to say anything. I just, I just need to tell you. Uh, I gotta get, I, I really have to get back on stage. Uh, think about it. After. Okay. Good luck. I'll be watching you. This is happening everywhere. So? What? What did she say? Nothing. She just wanted to tell me she's coming to watch. That's it? Yeah. That's it. If I told Riley what Beth just said to me now, it would completely psych her out and just make her upset. She needs to focus on performing right now. I'll tell her later.
The whole concept of this dance is basically Romeo and Juliet. They love each other and they're not able to be together because the families, they don't, they don't really want them to be together. Until we finally realize that they actually are in love and then we accept it. I feel like the dance does reflect our relationship a lot. I mean, me and Michelle being Romeo and Juliet, it kind of works out perfectly. Because now I know that Eldon and I will be a couple, it's like it's the perfect start to our relationship. Eventually, their love wins out. That's the story of the dance. Your body moving with an attitude, add a new angle. You move from the avenue, show the people your absence. So, sure. all night till you're back, you're done. Then we back with the task of fun. is the next step. This is the time. And this dance is on the floor. And one with control. The rain is over for Elite. Just like that, the new regional champion. I'm so pumped right now. Nationals, here we come, baby. I'm so happy. I just can't wait to see what's in store for our relationship. Awesome winning regionals. It's been quite a ride. Go, 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 go.
Winter!